Got you. I need some. You take your long, long myself. rest now. I need some energy. Yeah. yeah. Let's take a rest. Okay. You take uh, take so, your sleep, Connor. You have a spell at your disposal if you wish to cast. Uh, I cast a uh, the spell he's talking about. Layman's tiny. I think it's Layman's shack. tiny hut. Huck. Hut. Huck. Is it Huck? No, it's Hut. Then why do you keep saying Huck? <laughs> why, don't, why don't Why don't you say? So ten foot radius. Dome. So I'm gonna say you guys all gather. No, nah, no, nah, nah, Ethan's he's not allowed in my dome for making fun of my magic. Hey, you know what? I live here. You, I will make do. <laughs> you guys enter the dome. You can come to my dome, man. And you Fucking better take lucky. your <laughs> take your long rest, restore all of your hit points, any rages or action surge or bonus, anything that you've used for the day or recharge. We find out what our little liquids are, right? You do. Your liquids are. Your oh, red, my thick orange. orange liquid is a potion of fire resistance, giving you resistance against it's fire. It's got, I have that in me. Resistance. <laughs> I drank it. Resistance of, uh. Oh, that's not yours, that's mine. Resistance of fire yes, the gives other you, one you any fire damage you take oh. is halved, and for, for like the next eight hours after you drink it, oh, super hot temperatures don't affect you. Dude. Water, the volcano. volcano! Yeah, so good. The job. volcano will fry me if I don't get this crap in. You're made of wood. Never mind, you need more, maybe. Um, it's a tough, both of you. Can they drink half of it? Can I drink well, him? Yeah. For a very short time. Instead Wait, you're not of, made of water. Of hours, it would be maybe minutes. Yeah. Oh. Well, so, fun. what about her blue one? Well, Your blue, blue one. one is Potion of Water Breathing. I can already do For that. the next eight hours, you can breathe in the water. <laughs> You're like, ha <laughs> nerds. And extreme colds of temperatures do not affect you as well. Dude, but that would, that would mean you guys during the water one. And then... That's even worse. Nice. Uh, your, your bangle is a bracelet of water breathing. Hey, I I know. Know. Damn, straight. Straight. Wearing it allows you to breathe. Under. There I'm water breathing. So now you're screwed. Yeah. But yeah, you're still, a rock. You can't you swim. You're screwed in a volcano. <laughs> okay. So we I'm rocks don't forward. need to breathe. For the sake of time, I will say you take your rest. You awake you in the forest. Four, kind of a calm has <laughs> set over the area. You leave. You go through the Kokiri forest again, stealthily as best you can, avoiding those other Deku shrubs and Deku babas, and make your way back to the plains. Deku bears with the Death Mountain Pass and the Lake Hylia as your next destinations. Where would you like to go? Do you want to go to the volcano or the um, water? Let's do volcano. Alright. I like the volcano. Volcano. Maybe. Right. Maybe. Mm. So, so you guys. What? Connor go, leads the way? Go, yeah. We're going Connor. to the volcano. With a smile on your face as you pull your saxophone out and give a little. I'm like, do do. You're like, time to go home. Do 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 do. Which is kind of a sad place, unfortunately. Do, yeah. As you make your way there, you. The drug epidemic and everything. Describe this correctly. You make your way through the plains again. Creatures. Think, at wait, this is time. That, of night, creatures aren't too much to worry about. Rather, the, the wandering skeletons are what you are watch, watching out for now. Mm -hmm. um, but you managed, you managed, once. you managed to uh, only get the attention of one by itself, and you all quickly destroy it with an amalgamation of spell, trident, uh, arrow, and snaws. Because you all bull, bull barrage this skeleton before it can alert anything. So you kill that and make your way towards the mountainous region of Death Mountain Pass. You have to go through a town that is now dilapidated, it's destroyed. Is there anyone there who sells fire resistance? In the town, there is a shop. You do notice a lot of the buildings are ramshackled now, dingy, broken. Some have been like half, half ass plastered back up, you know? And there are people probably still living here, somewhat in seclusion. There is a shop. Uh, it's not boarded up. You could attempt to go in I'm if you wish. It is on the way. So through the town, there's a big well. It, there's a ramp up to the left that leads up towards the crazy <coughs> mountain pass, and then it's actually part of the mountain. And then to the right is more houses and a graveyard. Did my gems do anything from last time? They're, they're currency. They're just, okay. They're money. So we walk in. I, I, I have it, 20 gold. Yeah, you all have gold, and that I will consider to be rupee mounts. Mm, gotcha. We'll say, I don't know. I got you. It's not a big deal. So you want to stop by that shop real quick? Yeah. Okay, you go in there. You I, all, I go you in. You all go in there. I'll stay outside and go in. Hey, yeah, the, wait, are we in Volcanoville? It is the. It is at the base of the, of the, the mountain pass. 
where this town is. Is there the anything we really need from there? We fire, need I'm fire gonna save this fire resistance potion. We do kind of need that. Because right, he's check. wooden. You're a fish. So I've got. I've I'm got human. Yeah. Kind of ish. Okay. Mortal. You go in there. All right, you all uh, go in enter there. into this pretty small. It's it's basically a, a house, but it has a desk, and behind it is a very large man with very hairy forearms and balding on the back. His back is to you. He's very big, probably six foot, two hundred pounds, and he's just moving some jars with different liquids on, off off and onto the shelves. Huh? <laughs> he doesn't seem to notice you yet. Hey, friendly fellow. <laughs> Uh, let me see if he. Let's let him talk. Okay. okay, yeah. He's not. He's not smart enough to be scared. <laughs> so he sees you all in this weird amalgamation, but your friendly, all like posturing, you know, physiques and facial expressions, <coughs> kind of puts the worry away. He's like, oh, how can I help you? He seems very curious and concerned, but not afraid. Waiting for a response to really gauge how he should right. react. His hand is under the counter, by the way. Well, well, if, if that is that a fire resistant potion, you get up, get up under uh, the counter there. You see w- one jar with a similar liquid. Huh. Mm, but well, you don't know what it is. Are you, are it you looks selling? The same. Are you selling potions of? Listen, you know, when you go to a volcano, can you like help us out here? <laughs> the volcano. Yes, we're going. What go she in. said. <laughs> See ya. You're serious. Yes. I mean, I'll be fine. I'm a right, rock. your people are yeah. native. A rock. But I'm a Deku, and I'll burn. This is a burn. Very strange <laughs> day. Uh, he kind of one hands the jar. Uh, yes, it's 15 gold for one. I think I, I got, got it. another in the back. Is it pressing? Yeah. yeah. Good right. check. We're going to save the he world. He goes back there and leaves, leaves it on the we're, desk, we're and gonna, he's in the back right now. We're going Ooh. to be here. No. Do you have sneak? Oh. I'm not... <laughs> Help. You could. Okay. Okay, are you, are you guys, are heroes, you good people? heroes don't steal. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Besides, two is better than one. But is it a down. lesser evil because but we're stealing it? To go- oh, wait, he's back. <laughs> okay. Your, your red rupee is worth ten gold. Your green rupee is worth one. So you technically had eleven to your total. Uh, it's thirty gold. I have Well, you already have one potion, and there's yes. two more. Oh, sorry, thirty each. Sixty gold. And I'll be fine. Well, what? Whoa! 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 Since whoa! Whoa! Oh, I'm mistaken. By the price amount. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I just took it. Can All right, huddle up, guys. Huddle up. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, listen. Roll a persuasion check to haggle. All can, I, can I go for intimidation? Can I go for intimidation? You could. Really? Uh, hey, I'm, I get I'm really high on in intimidation. <laughs> get 22. Roll your intimidation. No! <laughs> no, no! You're going to ruin! Roll? I got 22. Oh, you, right. what, did you, what did you say? Roll it. Bolstering up. <laughs> three foot form up to the counter, which is about your height. Listen, I'm a piece of wood. I need that. <laughs> Roll your intimidation. Okay. Oh, what did you get? Oh, did you <laughs> intimidate him? What is it? Oh, I bet, I bet you, you really scared the guy. I got a two. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, he looks at you. <laughs> I got a two. <laughs> That's cute. And his face is. Okay, I got, a, I got a 22. You are willing to deal with. Okay. 30 gold Listen, for the man. lot. Get out. Listen, I think I think we can oh, fuck you, old man. Both. Thirty for both. He <laughs> says thirty for both. Oh, thirty for both? Yes. Oh, that, man, as that's what. As long as he doesn't get one. And kind of. Oh, he won't get one. Trust, trust us. I have twenty-one. I'm gonna flip you off in front of my ten yeah, hands. <laughs> okay, so thirty gold. Who's giving it to him? Do you have thirty gold? I have twenty-one. Yeah, I actually, I have games. thirty gold. I have twenty gold. Okay, so you give it all. You give him your rupees, amounting to thirty gold, just, and. Alright, have a nice day, you lot. Also, we're gonna go save the world, so see, see you later. Alright, as I walk out, though. Good luck. Make sure. Yeah. You kind of see like a downtrodden expression here. Make sure my statue's made of marble. As I walk out, though. Okay. Okay, you're not getting a statue. Right. <laughs> you close the wooden door behind you. Why didn't I. And that now. Guys, I know we're heroes, but why didn't I just kill them and take all the stuff? Because we're heroes! Because we're heroes! <laughs> we need it. So? Very good. That's how you yeah. see it. That's how you s- he actually perceived it that way. Hmm. It does make sense, though, because if we kill one person, but then save everyone else... Idea, let's walk and talk. And, yeah, you're walking and talking, yeah. and now you are past the gates that go that are usually It makes closed. sense. Uh, you go past the gates to what would be sealed off for visit, visit, uh, villagers. You go up the mountain pass that you are extremely familiar with, the one you descended, Connor, to get here. You are now at the base of the mountain. You see... The way this kind of has a 
a snaking upward path to get to where you guys need to go. The first ramp that you see is in front of you is about 30 or 20 feet long and really like 100 feet wide and slowly uh, ascends. Mm -hmm. And you just see rocks and different things. You manage that way towards that, easy peasy. In the very beginning, we were talking to that pool and showed us those visions. Yes. Do we remember that? Yeah, it was very quickly. You were ascending this, this pathway. Do we remember the rocks falling? You remember rocks being there. You don't remember rocks falling here, per exactly. So you go 100 feet up, and now you're, you know, like 30 feet up, 100 feet wide, long, long, and you turn 180 to the next part of the path, and again, more steep ascends. Uh, do you do anything special while you're going that way? It's another 30 feet long, 100 feet up, but it's more of a steep or incline. I want to look down. You look down, and you see the path that you just ascended. Nice. Because <laughs> to the left is sheer rock wall that's you, super You looked high. down and it was completely pointless. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Huh. What is the pecking order? Pecking what, order? What, what is the, uh, what marching order? Obviously, Gimanim in front. Gimanim nice down to the I'll be the back. Because, nice you know. Schnauz, where you want to be? You're in the back? Yup. Schnoz, are you behind giving him? Where are we going, man? Volcano? You are up the mountain pass, going towards hey, the volcano. Give me second, because I'm so tall I can see over you. Yeah, I'll be second. Okay, second. You're making your way up that the pass. You can't see over me. That's fine, I'm looking around there. Everyone give me perception checks. So I'll give you anything you want. I got a one. <laughs> <laughs> I got an 18. Plus 24. Plus 5, okay. so I got 6. 18 plus my perception. Yeah, 6, then. Is it that plus four? So you get twenty one. Okay, 22. 22. so you make that way. You're Jeez, keeping your eyes open. You don't see anything. No falling rocks here. You just see some tumbled, like smaller pebbles and stones falling in front of you as you're ascending. You know, I hear if you drop a pebble from the top of this volcano, it'll kill someone at the bottom. You get a hundred feet up now. Another hundred feet scaling this, this incline. You turn around and to your right. You see the the area you came from. And then I'm a liar. In front of you now is two branching paths. One ramps down and turns left and Connor you remember this going to your hometown yeah you're the Goron the Goron city the lone city with only a few remainder remaining people rock hard people to the left is the direction you the want slogan. to go the rock it hard ascends and upward and then is a long straight away to the base of the volcano and then you would have to climb the sheer rock another hundred feet to get to the mouth of this cave entrance all right. And you can see constant falling rocks, flaming rocks on that straightaway. Man. It's about a 50 yard dash, or 50 feet, 50 foot, no. Uh, we'll say 50, 500 50, 60 foot yard dash, or foot, foot dash from where, from where the beginning of that area is to the edge of the, at the base of the volcano and falling rocks are everywhere. So you'd be making your dash actions, and then based on rolls I make, you'll have to make deck saves. So, I'm it. going for it. Book it. Floor it. So, floor it. one after the other. Da -da 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 -da. I'll just use this one. Or no, this is better. Okay. You all, book it as fast as you can. You, outrunning everyone with ease, are first to go. I have the same athletics as him. <laughs> he has more speed than you. Oh, yeah, He has yeah, 45 yeah. foot of movement. You have 25. It's <laughs> almost double. Two, two, two. And you guys are taking the dash action each time. So I'm going to say a, a full round will all take is to, for everyone to get there. So on your round, rocks. But you're so fast and nimbly, your perception is getting you out of the way. Look at these volcanic flaming rocks. Landing, crashing down to you as you slide at the base of this mountain, of this volcano. You're next. Do, 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 do. With that, make a dexterity saving throw. Um. Oh, where is that? Oh, plus dex, so plus four? Yes. Uh, 11? Just makes it, or above of 10. So you watch as this massive column of do, 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 like connecting rock falls right in front of you, and you sidestep out of the way. The flames are immense and powerful, uh, almost burning and singeing you, but you get out of the way and meet him at the base. Now, Snaz, making your stubby little legs dash. No rocks fall near you. 
all around you, and you're fortunately small enough to get out of the way. Connor, being the slowest and biggest, has advantage to happen, and it does. Make a dexterity saving throw. Man. Being the last. Uh, 13. 15. Okay, yeah, that's going to be enough. So, <laughs> these big rocks. Also, Ethan and I have the same speed. I know, but I just think it's funnier. Okay. And you went last in that order. Okay. <laughs> Take on the fat guy. <laughs> kind of. Uh, so yeah, with these bounding steps and strides, these rocks don't hit you, fortunately. Now you're at the base Noif. of this of this, uh, of this this volcano. You don't want to just stay here, even though no rocks are directly falling here. Some have the chance to fall inward towards the base. So now, you need everyone to make athletics checks to climb the, <laughs> climb <laughs> the volcano. Where's the brick? Where's the brick? Where's the brick? Oh, I'm Seventeen. Nine. Just put it Nine. I'm the most I'd like ever, but I can't get free. What'd you get? Ethan. Oh, what? Hell what? Yes. And, uh, I got a, I got an eight. Five plus six, whatever that is. Eleven. 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 Okay, so you and <laughs> I uh, Sasea, Sasea and okay. Snaz, you are t easy, easy, you know, easy enough. You know, there's a lot of footfalls here. T t t you're climbing. You two are. Ascending, okay. There's enough, you know, your athletics. I got an eight. But because of the low level, you hear... <laughs> out of little holes. You know what? I'm out glad. Of hole, out of, like, you know, two by two foot holes, these spider-like things the with metallic skulls spiders. for faces. Dude, metallic you, skulls for faces and yellow tendril eight, eight uh, legs. <laughs> Are gonna both make attacks at you. This one, 19, hits you. One hits you. Seven plus five, 13, doesn't hit. Or 12, sorry, doesn't hit. Uh, so that one hits you. Yeah. Just does a d6. Five. Uh, no, you, you don't fall from that. So take five points of damage, and now make a second acrobat uh, athletics check to get to the top, everyone. Can I kill a spider? I'm getting eight again. You could <laughs> attack it if you wish, real quick. With How many are there? Only one? There's two. Uh, yeah, can I do that? But they don't, they don't seem to be giving a chase, so you don't have oh. to. Okay. Got Four. Four. Nine. I got a 25. Nice. I got a 15. <laughs> Did you get it, Connor? I got an 8. I am okay. booking it up this damn wall. Right. <laughs> I am okay. not about to mess with any spiders. One hits you, the other one misses you again. Nice. So one hits you for uh, four points of damage. A pencil. Oh, a pencil. <laughs> one hits you for four points of damage. <laughs> As the skull like slams into you, and you know it doesn't quite hard enough to knock you out of place. Doesn't do more than ten damage. Took four, so you're fine. And you're climbing now overhead. As you know, you're fine. Oh, starting to, you know the sweat is starting to pool into your brow and your hair. Get to the top. Everything seems to be okay up here. No spiders. Seems you, to be. Did you make it to the top? Yeah. Give me a perception check, you wish. All of us. No. Okay. Christ. <clears throat> you all pretty much are gonna see this, I think. Yeah. She rolled. Yeah, not. Yeah, you see the cave entrance. The heat is shocking. It's very, very hot, especially for you. It's, it's intense. Yeah, my you little, know my little upon, leaves hair. You know burning. that upon entering, you couldn't stay in there for more than a minute, probably. Without the potion. So without, without potion, potion time. Probably. You could maybe last a couple minutes. He would. He would have the worst time. How many potions do we have? Three. One. Wait, oh, wait, three. Yeah, you bought two. I was thinking the water one. He how has long, one, and me and you have two. How long would I last? You said her. Or you have one, yourself. and I have one, and he okay. has well, one. He bought two. both of them. Yeah, I bought both of them. So I mean, he I, decides who gets them. Yeah, hey, here. You have one, you have one. Do okay. you need one? No. No, no he's he's he's, he's from here. Okay. I'm a rock. So, who's taking the potions? I'm a rock. One I'm potion, a two potion, island. three potion. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And you should be fine. Mm, yeah. You, right. this, uh, you just will negate. I need to so, take off my potion. <laughs> you all take your potion. It's very. It tastes like dirt. It's very bitter. It's dry. Man, I love uh, it. It is a bad aftertaste. But suddenly you feel a warmth overcome your body, and then suddenly it's lukewarm. You are temperate, regardless of where you are. Awesome. You make your way into the cavern. You immediately see the darkness is illuminated. Everything in here is lit by the lava below. Orange is the only color that you see within here. Give you a little quick gl glimpse, uh, gl uh, glimpse okay. of the generic kind of location. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I got you. And that big pool of lava, you're about 100, 100 <coughs> feet up above the lava now on this massive, craggy rock platform. To your right, immediately, is a very thin piece of wood that leads to a platform, and you can just barely make out the edge of a treasure chest. And to the left is the path that descends and would be closer to where you need to go. Get I'm going to go to the treasure chest first and try to open that. All right. Okay, you go in there. Okay. Okay. You're gonna, I'm going to say you're dexterous enough to get across that, but no one else would. You'd have to roll, but she'd be okay. So you make your way over there and pick the lock. Mm. What'd you get? I got a five. Total? Mm. Plus seven? Oh, 12. 12? I'm going to say, yeah, with a 10, it's, it's just a small lock. All right. However, a little dart comes out. You take one point of damage. Oh! Didn't check for traps. Oh, crap! Get you right in the hand. Damn it! I didn't think of that. And you look inside and you see a familiar blue liquid vial. Yeah, boy. We awesome. got another Ooh. water water breathing potion. Potential. What? Potential. We don't know what it is. It looks exactly the same. Oh, okay, never mind. We did not. So know. now we have the. You pull that out right, and you meet with your group, and now you descend to the left path, the, the only other like direction those. possible. Wait, I don't know if you have a. We brought. Uh, yeah, yeah, we have. They all I have two, two water, and you have the. Bracelet. Ring, the bracelet. Now there is a. I'll go ahead and give you the. No, one. you can make that gap. Okay, so there's a gap <laughs> below you is just a hundred feet fall into lava. Ten foot gap. Huh. I think everyone can make it with a run because there's a running start. Will help. So you okay. all take your time. <sighs> make it across. Give an M. You want to pick on the fat guy again? Huh? <laughs> Give an M. <sighs> Did it with ease. Oh. Nice. He. You watch as he throws oh. himself into a ball, rolls down the incline, and then pfft, leaps out and clears it double distance. Easy peasy. I can see nice. a bit like a cat. The, the <laughs> ramp incline really helped. <laughs> now there's a rickety wooden bridge in front of you. You both each, one at a time, make your way you across it. You both each? Are you all each <laughs> make your way across one at a time. The whole it's, both of you. It's shambling, it's shaking, it's very rickety. Make your way across. Yeah. Make your way across. Now, there's another platform, uh, and you see a rock slide has collapsed some other entrance. Uh, useless to you. And then to the right is another rope bridge, and then off in the distance you can see a familiar pedestal. And, and then there's a there's a giant, um. like, triangular rock that that is, like, next to. Like a platform without a top to stand on. And that is blocking part of your vision. The location of it, so you have to actually go across the next rope bridge to get closer. It's about thirty feet away now to the pedestal. I think we should all mentally prepare for another creature, since there's that mine one. Yeah. Yep. So just. So who wants to go first over the bridge? This one's gonna be a fat Nose... rock man. Nose goes. I'll go. I'll go first. Okay. Touch your snows and then oh, I'll just go. <laughs> one at a time. You make your way. Who is the heaviest of the group? <laughs> All right, <laughs> did you have that? Give him. Patty over there. Okay, with a ten, the rope does not break under your your weight. Thank you. Nice. So you lastly go, and you hear, a <laughs> <laughs> and make your way across. At this, you hear. A steaming sound. Come on, sucker. <laughs> Thick, he jumps sludgy, in the front. Come on, a sucker. sludgy, <laughs> swirling sound, and steam begins to rise to the left of the, down below. And you hear <laughs> metal against rocks. <laughs> and with one hand, you see these gauntlet, golden, uh, armored hand, fingers grasp the base of the rock around you're on, and kill the platform that you're on. It pulled itself <laughs> up, and now you see, with with no no facial features, you see this entire full helm with these piercing red eyes, beady oh. red eyes, golden gilded armor with black engravings and spikes protruding off of it. And you see its sh- massive tower shield and long sword s- drawn. This golden black sword. I, uh, How big is this thing in relation to me? This is about ten foot tall. Oh, okay, so I'm a little You know, it is still large, but it is not too super tall. But I bet it's a freaking hip point sack. <laughs> it's big, it's, a, it's got a heavy armor. armor. Oh, okay. Great. It's got plate mail. I and want a, a giant ass shield. Ash this shield. is going to be harder to hit than the other one. Dang it. And with that, I need everyone to roll initiative. 
Man. And I think I'm going to get some out of the Zelda music for this one. 13. Kind of metal maybe. I got a 12. I got a 13. I got a Why don't you play uh, rock music? 21. Why don't you play 21. Chop Suey by a system of a down? 25. <laughs> How's that? Sound? I got a 13. Right. Yeah, like rock Surrounded by I'm, lava. Because I'm a rock. It's hot as fuck. I am a rock. Right, everyone. <laughs> I am an I. Roll initiative, everybody. A 13. Give 13. me 13. Anyone, 13. anyone above. Oh. No. <laughs> Push the monster, you get like 20. The monster just kind of pushes everyone off. <laughs> Alright. Anyone above 20? 21. Nice. Yep. 15 to 20. Anyone in that range? No. No one? I got 13. So did, <laughs> so did Brandon. Okay, 10 to 15. 13. 13. Everyone got 13s? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Rock, paper, scissors, bitches. Yeah, straight up. Do it. <laughs> I don't care. I'll go left. Okay. I don't you too. Well, just, do it. just real quick. Oh, I'll go first. You guys I'll go first. Like I'll go first okay, after go. the thing. Okay. Wait, the thing goes... Then Okay, okay. We could have totally had an intense game of rock, Jesus, paper, okay. So, so he's... So, Johnny, great. you are up. Fuck. And it's just dragging, I I just dragging this massive sword. Oh my gosh. Right. His armor class is probably almost mine. 16? 19? 20. 20. Hey, none of my spells have to use armor class. Oh. It's true. I just... Alright, boys. Let's get it. Okay. Hey, girls. I'm gonna... Yeah, don't discriminate. Don't I'm gonna make sure I I'm... I said gonna... girls. He's a girl. <laughs> I said plural. He's said the girl. second one. Okay. That's the mystery. Alright. <laughs> so, it's not gonna hit. Hey, you're doing attack. Down 15. Nope. That is not hit. Yeah, you're it's really a right in the shoulder. The, really it doesn't even, the doesn't even flinch. doesn't even move its head to acknowledge your attack. That's your action. Um, I'm, I'm gonna to say the only dog. place to hide is this one like spire over here. I can't make it, so there's no point. You can bonus <laughs> action the dash to get to it. Won't we'll make it. You want to try? Nope. You're just gonna stay there. Yep. Okay. It's turn. I hide all the time. Thirty feet. And yes. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh my gosh, dude, Brandon. Brandon. You're getting ready to get. Dude, I'm gonna bad. have a reach. F this thing up. When it's my turn. I'm Come on, say... man, F me. It can't swing at you, so it doesn't. Okay. Have, I'm gonna say it doesn't have the reach. So instead, it's going to extend its sword at you, hmm. and s a steam erupts from it. Make a make a dex saving throw, and you have advantage, so you can see it coming. So twenty. Then roll it twice. Take the high. And just do dexterity. Uh, yes. So you got 19. That's going to be enough, yeah. You yeah. Might as well so you eight. take half of this. So to four points of damage, that's nine. Yeah. Nine down. So, so you take how many? four points of damage. Okay. 41. Nice, that's to go a lot. Um, and that's its turn. All right. Schnocks or whatever you are. Schnocks is up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Forgot to something. I'm looking at you for a reason. I'm not Snaz, though. I know. It's, it's Snaz's turn, but I remembered something that it can do. Oh. And I look at you. No relation. I thought you were looking at me because it was you, you thought I was Snaz for a second. Yeah. But no. Alright. We're going to do Ethan. It's because I'm about to die. choose with that Tim Carroll. I'm ready. You're going to just fucking swing? Yeah, I'm going to do four attacks. You use your action surge now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you with your bellowing, a what bellowing, if it's a 20? bellowing, I mean, as much chance as 19 for you. Bellowing, oh yeah. Bellowing cry, you make a swift attack. So 19 and a 20. Oh my oh, god. Holy <laughs> shit. Roll it, roll it two more times and see the other attacks. A 12 and a 20. Holy oh fuck. My Three god. criticals. Holy <laughs> shit. And the other one missed, right? What was it? Yeah, it was a 12. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. god, dude. That's sick. Okay, so roll. Uh, what is your damage? Is it D8? I don't think yeah. it's So roll 3D8 for me. At all. Oh, three of them? Yeah, roll all three. There you go. Yeah, grab this. 3D8. And mine. Yeah. 4, 8, and a 7. 4, 8, and 7. So 15 plus 4 is 19. 19. 
doubled is uh, 40, 39, 38. 38. 38 plus 3 for strength. 42. 42. 41. 41. 30, 40, 41. Yes, yeah, 41. And 41. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> All right, guys, he's All probably right. going to end. <laughs> Wait, what if he goes cutscene? <laughs> <laughs> and cutscene, no. I mean, dude, wow. then you got me that was, that was clutch. That was as stellar. Fuck. That was. We were just talking. Oh, you just needed 20 or 19. <laughs> 20, 19. Next roll. 20. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you fucking. Every attack is in a point that you can then climb up and attack again. So you get him on what is essentially his metal calf. You hear this like it's 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 like it sounds like rocks scrape rocks and metal scraping these grunts he's making. And you stab into his calf and then you leap up and grab onto his on his onto his thigh and stab into his sternum and then you slash upward towards his chest and then stab under his arm and then up mm. under his neck and you're just and then finally he tries to push you off but you just jump back and and your sword is steaming. Bad, probably gonna need bad a ass, bro. Sword. All right, that's Brandon's turn. Or now it's Brandon's turn. Well, I'm in. You're right. You're uh, now you're impressed. Earlier his slap was kind of meager. Now you're like, oh, this guy can turn it on. Yeah, okay, I'll turn it turn. on. I'm in reach, right? As of right now. Uh, no, you have to move. That's oh, why he couldn't hit you. Just five. Yep. All right, so <laughs> you gonna rage? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Watch this. <I> yes. <laughs> hey, man. Watch. You see a grimace come over his face with a smirk and a toothy maw. Do Dude, and then my muscles rip Great. up. Yeah, you see veins start to become. No, he wants to make it clear that he's, uh, he's muscular. And he rubs Vaseline on himself just Please, to make it better. Get back. Alright. Yeah, for fan art. <laughs> So I did two. So do your two attacks. Yeah, make it a fan art. Yeah, so go ahead and roll your attack first. See if you hit him. Oof, no. Crap. Come on, baby. See if you hit him now. Come on, baby. Okay. Yes! What's with these 20s, guys? Alright. All right. Roll it. your and two. Then... Roll 2d12. If he or lives. Roll d12, and then we'll double it. Who's next? I mean. Yeah. So, 7 if he becomes crits, 14. I'm going to cast a spell. Plus it's going to fail. 19. <laughs> or, if, or not, if, if he <laughs> if he doesn't kill him, I'm going to cast a spell. Please be cut. Sit down, baby. Wait. Oh, well, man. All right. Do I get bad butt damage? You, t t with the trident motif at the end of your battle axe, you do a okay. lunging strike into his stomach, and then with that <laughs> upward slash up from his chest under his chin, you hear you hear the metal <laughs> like bend and break and crumble un as you sunder uppercut. This <laughs> and again, your blade is steaming. <sighs> yeah. So this monster's like. Oh shit! Yeah, this, <laughs> this thing is very taken aback by your damage, as am I. All right, Connor, you are up. You're gonna do a spell. <laughs> yeah, Connor's gonna go. Now fall on the ground and laugh. After <laughs> 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 he's been taking all the. I cast. I cast Tasha's hideous la <laughs> laughter. Okay, no, but actually, I am. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, uh. Yeah. Cast vicious mockery. Vicious mockery. Yeah. <laughs> Go up and kick him in the shin and call him a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> You're no match for us, so go ahead and roll your damage. Do you know what it is? Uh, I don't remember. I think it's a d4. I got a one. <laughs> <laughs> what if he has one hit point left? I hope to god he has one hit point left. Curtis, what How do you much think? damage did you do? One. <laughs> Hold on, for some reason it's not showing me the spells. I want to make sure it's just a... I don't want to fuck you out of some damage. I say... Yeah, it's just a d4. I say... And it has disadvantage on its next attack roll. Yeah, okay. So what do you, what do you say to it? What do you, say, how do you mock it? I'm like... You know, you, you gold's not really your color. It was the last season. <laughs> you hear this... Like, confused grunt as it tilts its... It's mangled now... It's now mangled bottom of its chin. <laughs> and you see one of the R's wince. Takes how much damage? Deep, just a D4. Just one. One point of damage. But hey, guess what? He might not hit now you. Now he has this advantage on his next attack. That's good. Jody, you're up. Well, I'm going to try to hit him with an arrow again, because what else can I okay, do? Okay, he's big enough, you could just shoot him. Oh, please, hold the god hit. Is that nine? Eight plus seven? No. <laughs> uh, no, you don't have advantage either. Well, so. Wow. 
Do not hit another. I guess. Ching, kind of deflects off the armor again. I guess I'm just gonna stay in here with my thought, my ass. She and sighs, like just kind of like notching another arrow, like half, You're like half, like just kind of like, uh, like laboriously. Okay. I wish I had something else. Now it's its turn. It's going to make its two attacks, one against each of you. Each of you is the first one is against uh, so the against first them? one's against you and has disadvantage. Oh, can I can I, can, I, can I still be ripped up and be all dude? You're up? you're super pumped right now. Sweet. It's Twelve plus seven is nineteen. That still hits you. That's and then okay. against you, Ethan. A natural one. So there's nothing. Really he cuts his own head off. Yeah, there's nothing really for it to really fail at. So it just completely whiffs on you, Ethan. As you like, you're in this badass mode right now. You like totally matrix dodge this. Overhead swipe and the whole you, world just goes. The in carrying slow strike kind of slams into your shoulders and chest. And that's all you right. take. Uh, I'm ripped. Ooh, ten plus five. Man, I'm so 15, glad. I'm here. Fifteen I'm damage. Really. All right, so and that's its turn. Ethan, Ethan, twenty-six. Ethan, you're up. I second guess it. Uh, so yeah. I can still go two. I'm like I roll two attacks. Yeah. Hmm. I'm gonna be a music teacher. <laughs> Yeah, that's damage early on. One and a nine, I didn't hit. <laughs> nine, neither hit, so mm-hmm. yeah. King, king! This time its shield is looking at you and blocking each strike. Definitely not underestimating you anymore. Now it is Brandon's turn. And now I am unimpressed by you again. I was, I was his, impressed. His opinion is easily swayed. So yeah, you're, you're I'm, I'm just right there. I'm going to whack him two times. Okay. With that great axe. And I'm not raged, right? You're still raged. Yeah, that's you sweet. maintain rage for a, a minute. That hits. Run and roll your next one to see if you hit again. Two 19s. If only you had his fucking his uh, his champion thing, you'd be critting. So yeah, roll your damage and add five to the roll. <coughs> Each of them, right? Yep. Nine and nine total for that one. And so I got a nine plus fourteen. So twenty. So you did nine points on that one, and then how much on the second one? Uh, nine plus five, fourteen. Fourteen. So twenty-three. Come on, please. This cutscene. thing still standing Dang. on its last leg. With that, last leg, you, mean you, you, you hit both of its knees. <laughs> One, and it buckles inward. You do a spinning three sixty on the opposite side. <laughs> Smash it in both of its legs. It can't even straighten them out now. You see the metal is jagged and shattered in places. <laughs> It's now dragging the sword and shield. The eyes are beginning to flicker and fade. Wait, it's still standing. Connor, you're up. Come on, dude. I just Take walk it up to it, it and with... You know what? Punch it in the face with your saxophone. Break the saxophone. 1d4. Uh, yeah, I just go up with a rape here. Just... Make think. your uh, attack. You get one attack. 12. Plus, like, 6. six. So, 18. Doesn't hit. So you, you slam into its hip. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> you give a couple of more quick stabs to see if it does anything. Nope. A little steam coming off of you. Off your tip. Leaving us to Joni. Mm, guess what I'm gonna do. Cracks the wrist. Tries again! <laughs> it's 11! This, this side of the table is just... You guys are doing all and it just, it's just... I can't <laughs> without win! Even, like the helmet is n- not moved since like you guys started the fight, and again just whoosh, past the past the shoulder. Like <laughs> there's nothing like, I can do. Fifteen feet away. <laughs> Arr, the rage is boiling within you now. God, I'm just gonna lay here. Kicks the dirt a little. Kicks a rock aside as we go back to its turn. <laughs> Come on, man. I'm gonna get. There's nothing I can do. Against Ethan is a 19 oh. hits. <laughs> against Brandon is a 16% also hits. So two hits against you boys. Ethan, for you, that is an 11 plus 5. That's 16 damage to you, Ethan. And Brando, you take 8 points of damage. <laughs> what was mine? 16? Yeah. I hope both of you guys end up Oh, wait, you're raging, because... so that's halved. So that's 4 for you. Wait, wasn't the last one? It Ever was been? great. Uh, oh, the actual hit did hit, didn't it? Yes. Um, so what was the last one? Last one was add 15. 15. So, so that's just... add 6 to your max, because I <coughs> rounded it down. Max or... Two, six. Yeah, or yeah, you're... Yeah. Oh, you have currently add 6 back. So and somehow that hit kills you. 
What? And that's its turn. You, can, you gain HP after it hits. Oh. So I yeah, that's that's, that's its turn as it's on its last legs, just swiping erratically. Uh, bringing us to Ethan. <sighs> You've taken a big heavy strike just now, and its sword is just retracted. <laughs> dragging across the volcanic black rock. Why why do I suck? We both suck. Oh and God. didn't hit it's it. It's just an off day. You did I didn't hit it. yesterday. I didn't I hit it. Both both attacks? Oh wait, I didn't roll both attacks. Yeah, second swing. Oh, it's an 18. Plus, plus like six. six, that hits. Yeah. Roll your d8 plus f- uh, three. <laughs> d8 plus three. Uh. Eight, 11. 11 points of damage. Yes! <laughs> I can redeem time. myself from the slap! Really? <laughs> Cutscene time! Have I got one hit on him? <laughs> yeah, please, it, please make this good. We just, we how both do you slay the Helmed Horror? I don't Death know. Mountain. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna cut off his head and keep it with me for the rest of the game. Before, before this, before this, you wanna I say, please impress me. All right, no, 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 no. I'm gonna squat down and put my hands like this and let him jump up off my hands. And mm. or you could do the reverse and he helps you up. Get your kill. You, you got the kill. Cut off his head. Impress me. All right, I'm gonna and I'm gonna jump his off out. his hands. <laughs> do a strength check. Do a strength check? Yeah, roll a strength check for me. I got strength for games. Yeah, add uh, your three. Or your, got, add your three to that. I got, That's a 12. I'm lightweight. Well, do 20. Oh, same thing. <laughs> no wonder you got a five. You got a fucking five. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it, you take a foot to the chest and you take a point of damage. <laughs> as the foot just kind of like drop kicks into you and then you throw him <laughs> upward. You I do a 360 yeah, three, front flip. 360 like spiral. Backwards. You do a full gainer. Your sword <laughs> extends out. You three point landing, and then the head just rolls off the back. Falls down. Almost into the lava. It doesn't. Uh, and then its body. Bunch of steam rolls out from underneath it. It does, as in fact it does, as immediately as it falls, as the silence begins to enter the cavern. You hear. <laughs> this is so I literally uh, defeated that. Oh my god. That hear, first turn. <laughs> as its entire body begins to steam, and the steam goes from a pale gray to a pale red. And it's familiar, a familiar specks of dust and grain god, get the next and sparkles. Too. I mean, we don't know. Come on. Flash of white light. It's bright. Come blinding. On. Then you look back. You gain your eyesight. Hey! <laughs> Again. Listen! Pale red. A red fairy this time. Looks to you. And looks to you. Oh man. I, I was totally worthy. I did all that. <laughs> Much deeper voice than the others. Oh. Hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. You didn't do anything. You little tree friend? It's yeah, it's feminine, cool. But it's much deeper. Hello. I want this rat <laughs> fest I invited. Hey, hero. Aw. Help us save the world. I mean, I'll, I'll sure try. <laughs> and it flies into you. I literally just took the most damage out of everybody. I didn't take any, didn't do any. Once per day, you can choose a spell. I deal the over 70. you and give the person disadvantage against <laughs> them to resist it. <laughs> I actually did so like, more yeah. likely to fail. Did one point <laughs> I, I, did, I did one point on And <laughs> if you roll attack, like if you have a running start to an attack, you get advantage and double damage. Cool. I make a comment with to that, Shaws. With that, yeah, you go ahead and say you're a little. Whoop. Didn't appreciate the kick, <laughs> but <laughs> golf butt. As as in amused. I still doesn't appreciate you from that kick. What about our... So, do yeah, you... Yeah, you're, are you should take another rest? rest? Is anyone too hurt? I'd rather Dude, get I'm out of the 26. volcano before you rest, because it's kind of hot. I'm at I don't know when the potion wears off. Right. Do you, do you Especially for me. What? <laughs> little wooden guy. I'll burn should up in like point two. Wait, this, wait, this little wooden guy just totally just... I'm going to say you can take a short rest. You take like 45 minutes, and I'm just going to say for the sake of time... Everything's restored. Huh. Okay. Well, everything you've spent is restored once again. I'm half dead. <laughs> All of your usages. I only did like what 16 back, on that one, and back. And I'm good now. I had 22 points. No, 23 points of damage. Then. What's what? They can stun a creature if it fails a save. So you would use it as your action to stun the creature. So on its turn, it couldn't do anything that, for that round. 
Hmm. It would be stunned until your next turn. Okay. It has to be like a 13. It has to be like a 13. Uh, wisdom, or, you know, wisdom, because it's like perception to see. Or otherwise, it's, it's stunned for that round. I can't really do anything. Okay. So, with that, you guys take your rest, take recuperate. I took like 23 points. And now set your sights on Lake Hylia. Or what was once Lake Hylia is now so barren wasteland. <laughs> you see a very downtrodden Sasea taking up the rear. She's very upset at her. Get on up here! No. But you guys bolster her spirits, right? As you make your way out of the volcano. Quickly run past the volcanic <laughs> crag, but luckily less, le- it's less in a bit. <laughs> You make your way down the down the ramps of the mountain, of Death Mountain. Can we can we wave at the store guy? Uh, you go past the store. I throw a trident at him, but he's not. No. There. He is not there. Oh, Damn. at least he might be in the store. He's not outside of it. You go in. I wish I, I wish I, yeah. I wish you would let me. You go. Yeah, you go by the store. You go by the village. You make your way past the fields again. Now familiar with the land, lay the land, maneuvering through the plains and the. Sparing forestry, uh, you make your way towards the lake. <coughs> it's a like winding grassland path as the grass begins to wither and wither even more this direction. As you get here, once you get past uh, a set of tree brush, and you come to see this massive basin, this, this large drained uh, lake. It's what was once a great lake. You know, probably at, at least 100 feet deep, if not 200, and is just a bowl that you could descend into now with natural rock and its dark, gr- dark uh, brown and gray rock of a of a drained lake. And at the, in the middle, you can see what is probably 20 feet wide by 20 feet circular pool, uh, or 30 feet, and then this landmass that is extending where you imagine would be kind of a proto island like extremely small all you can see on it is one lone tree and that has shrubbery and stuff within it it's very thick compared to other dead trees and a a bridge that connects it to another landmass that then connects it to the one you're on another hundred feet out and then what stands out to you immediately is the building that you originally came from what you awoke from was the laboratory you see a a blue building with a triangular uh, like seal, uh, roof. Uh, this was the laboratory of mm. the scientist that found you and, and put you in his aquarium for study and then you melted out and have begun your adventure today. So. <sighs> and you get a feeling that that, That's that center. We got about 20 minutes, guys. <clears throat> yeah, this, is, this should be the lake. Okay, so, so we jumped in the lake? Looks like it. Just All right. Chug our potions. Drink and... your potions. Let's go. Man, I ain't got no potions. Who's got potions? Deal. I'll yeah. tighten my I, two, I two potions, and you've got the bracelet ring. on my on yeah. my schnoz, so it doesn't fall <laughs> off. Okay. <laughs> so you got that ring on your schnoz. As so you step downward into the basin, you know, it takes you several minutes just to get down to the bottom, and then another several minutes of just trekking to get to the middle, so straight up, of where this this uh-huh. is, and now you get to the foot I'm of this watching. water. You can see. It's, it's odd. Of all of this, this 20 foot by 30 foot by 30 foot circular area of liquid descends deeper. This part mm-hmm. is like a cavern, essentially. That just is vertically, it just descends a hundred, another 100 feet. And you can see it kind of goes in a direction. So I take the lead. He swims easily. Did the rest of you follow? Yeah. You, being a Deku, Deku are kind of afraid of water. You, you like... The only bad experiences Deku has with water, typically. It's very dangerous. You're I take down easy, not can't really swim very well. You hold the hold the bangle on your schnoz, and you... Uh, I was going to take him and throw him in. Do you, he's about to descend. Do you want to... <laughs> well, not if he's going by himself. You're all right there about to... Like, you've already jumped in. Well, I mean, if he was going to be like, oh... Uh, he's kind of cautiously go getting in. ready to go in. Oh, yeah, I think I'm just... <laughs> yeah, he, do you, do you let him pick you up and throw you? I mean, sure. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the farther I get, the better. <laughs> so you swoo, sink down immediately, and you close your eyes. Is this is bad? This is bad. And you open them, and you watch as the bangle closes around your snaws. You can breathe as if you're on land, and he can swim. Yeah, he can swim just fine. Sweet. 
So you guys descend lower and lower, lower and lower. The light beginning to dim. I have dark vision. Dark vision? Dark vision will be very helpful. I have that. Me too. Nice. So, who has... uh, I'm going to say you all have the ability to see. (laughs) Um, (laughs) Ethan, you're going to have a bit of a tougher time seeing very far into this water. Should he hold on to somebody? No. Yeah, hold on to his foot. You three are kind of swimming at the same pace. He's, He's... Naturally faster. Uh, he can move like 50 feet in water. So yeah, you guys descend 100 feet and then kind of hit the bottom. And you go forward now and you see that this is like a tunnel. But as you're going into it, there's all these pockets of, of smaller tunnels. Probably This tunnel is like 40 by 40 that you're now in. Mm-hmm. And there are like 15 by 15. They're all circular, perfect circles, just everywhere as you're descending deeper and deeper. Through the perspective. Go ahead and roll perception checks. Perception, perception not perspective. Perspective. Hmm, what do I. 25. What do I, what do I philosoph- <laughs> philosophically 10. feel at this moment? What do we got? 25. 10. That's good. Roll with advantage. Yeah, 17. Oh, 17. I got 14. Okay. And with advantage. I get plus yeah. five. So you and, you, and, you and her immediately pick up something's deeper. Some creature. This These things have certain... Like, whatever is down here has created these. Can we talk since we can breathe underwater? I'm going to say yeah. I'm going to say it's like bubbly, blah, 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 but you can understand each other. <laughs> there, there's something <laughs> living down here. I know. Quaking. If something's approaching. Oh, oh no! Due to, your, due to your perceptions, you have time to prepare if you'd like to ready your actions. Your um, range attack, ready, your range attacks, ready action. Your cast. Uh, Tasha's hideous mind? laughter. Yeah. It's my ready Even action. More, okay. Yeah. Except for my fist. What or, is my range? Wait, yeah. my fist is melee. Yeah, your trident's still are thirty. Or yeah. What? Your range is like 30, 320 or something. So can you? Uh, so Eight. forty feet slash one fifty or whatever, one sixty. So you gotta be a little closer to range wanna... attack. Your spells work fine okay. with their same range. So I just wanna do. And your snaws. I'll say your snaws since it's magically empowered now works as well. I'm just gonna do Tasha's hideous laughter when I see whatever comes. <laughs> okay, at me. ready. Go ahead and ready your actions, guys. Oh. Well. Roll initiative. Ready your actions. So what do you wanna do when you see whatever is approaching? I'm, I'm going four you. again. I'm I hope doing four attacks again. Like the nicest guy in the world. He's oh, like, hey, how you... I'm going to try to shoot him. Okay. Ooh. He might. So. Ooh, is this water? It kind of sounds like water. I'm sorry. Oh, oh, never mind. What kind of... Are those holes? These are holes That's that descend in deeper, and then you guys. Wait, is this? Your speed is, we'll say minus five. So whatever you have, minus five. Come on. Minus five? Yeah. Yeah, forty. Yep. Or for you, it's still fifty, because you're you can you swim differently oh, than them. Cool. Let me say you guys are like that and that, swimming, and then from here. <laughs> this serpent, this Gross. azure sapphire blue serpent with like kind of a sort of like salamander draconic head. Have I seen this before? Roll a history check. Yeah, come on, baby. So what is that Let's six? This, plus history six. Crap. Six. Yeah. Um, you. Only because it's fable. It's a fable tale, the Zora, of a water serpent known as. Wait, do we do our ready act? Like, do we. You know, no, the water naga? Can you turn to page. The water naga. Oh, I didn't write it down. It doesn't matter. Okay. I, I shouldn't need it. Okay. Water, like serpent naga or aqua naga, something like that. It's basically snake, dra- did, did dragon, we, did serpent. Do the ready mix. actions happen? Ready actions trigger. So, what was everyone doing? I was doing. Shoot him so, there! So, Hitty, shoot your hideous attack. laughter. You, it makes a wisdom save. Ugh. It succeeds. Do you want to make it have disadvantage? You have that yeah. one once a day ability now. Yeah. Rolls again with disadvantage. Another 19. Sorry. Damn. Roll it, roll really high. 
Wow, that would have been really interesting to see what happened. It's a giant serpent. It didn't like it's bigger than the things like you fought. It's probably like, its head is probably like 20, 15 feet like a dimension, and its whole body is probably like a good 30 or 40. Hmm. And it's very, it's very quick. So uh, is it moving right it now? Is, uh, it is breached out. Roll your ready to attacks so if you had them. Yep. What'd you get? 20. 20 to hit? That hits. Roll your... Uh, it wasn't surprised, but you did have... I'll give you sneak attack. Roll your sneak. It's 4d6. I just rolled a 20. <laughs> rolled a crit, which is schnoz. Yeah. And then you have a second schnoz attack as well. 18. So 11. Okay. Nice. Uh, that, that'll hit as well. You did how much damage? 11. Uh, do I add something? You add the, the 4, right? Okay, then 15. 15. Okay. 14, do I hit? 14 to hit? Trying? No. Dang it. You have a second one. That's what are you going to... I need? got 18 and a 20. So roll your two attacks. No, it's 11. One will double. So roll your D8. It's 11. I don't hit. D8. So I don't have any more tritons now. <laughs> no. That's I'm a going, five. I'll say you, the one from one of the five plus six is oh, eleven, right? Okay. Five uh, plus six, eleven. Yes. What was your first roll? What was the roll? Five. So that becomes ten plus three, so thirteen, right? Oh yeah, yeah. And yeah. then your second attack, roll then, for it, thirteen. Whoa. Three. Three plus three, so six. So six. plus six, nineteen points of damage. Do to college tomorrow? <laughs> What time's your first class? Alright, that's pretty good. So I got an hour. That's pretty solid. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, you'll be that's fine. everyone's turn. Now let's roll some initiative. Again. Boom, shkablang. Oh, three. I got seven. I got ten. ten. <laughs> hey, I still beat you for a little score. Alright. I got a nine. Anyone above twenty? Nope. Wait, I got a nine. Do I add anything to it? Yeah, you add your dex at the top, that. top middle. Oh, nine. I got eleven. So anyone nine plus no three is 12. twelve. Jesus Christ! So God fifth, damn it! <laughs> I'm tired. All right. Fifteen to twenty. Sixteen. Sixteen. Good job. I got twelve. So put me where. What'd you get? I got a ten. And you? Seven. So I got a twelve. What's that thing get? Holy frick! Holy 20. frick! <laughs> twenty plus. Three. Holy. Holy frick! So it's up. Holy schnoz! Ah! Oh, uh, Very easily gets to you. Always do Two attacks, one against each of you. Okay. I have a lot of hit points. Shit. I have yes. some. So against you, Joni, it's a 6 plus 6, 12. No. Against you, Brandon, is a 13 plus 6, 19. That one hits. Oh. Why does it always hit me? <laughs> Because you're a big, muscly man. I'm <laughs> 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 Give it to me. <gasps> nine, ten. Eleven. Twelve plus four. So sixteen. Sixteen, 16 oh, points of damage. So got thirty. You should see like this, like evanescent whirlpool within its mouth, just kind of just spiraling of water. What's it doing? Man? And it's if, uh, sharp teeth. That's its turn. Joni, you're up. If one were to cast Crown of Madness on this creature and make it a tackle wall. You can make it waste <laughs> its turn, I suppose. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna use my my rapier for the first time. Okay. Make yeah. your attack. Please, please, please. Ooh! 16 plus 7, 23. That hits. Roll your d8 plus 3, or plus 4. What's the d8? What's the d8? Mm-hmm. Okay, plus 4. 6. Six damage? Yes. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> Brings us to Ethan. Yay, I'm actually hitting it. We're back here. We get closer. Yeah, take a left and go Five, up around him. 10, 15. <laughs> you want to be up against it to hit it with your sword? No, I'm going to schnoz it again. Okay, so you can get, like, <laughs> get there again. and double schnoz. Double <laughs> schnoz. Noble shine power. And he watches the bangle that is now morphed around his snaws is like, like, <laughs> like a shudder, <laughs> shooting these out. Go ahead and roll your attacks. Seven, nineteen. The nineteen? Yeah. You crit. Hey. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> He's roll, like. Roll your what is it? Yeah. D six. Roll your D six. D six. Yeah. Five. What is that? D six. So that's yeah. a five. Uh, so it's. Five becomes ten plus three, thirteen. 
Huh. 15 damage. Okay. <laughs> you can just... You hit it. And you just, <laughs> shoo, shoo, and you yeah. Just one, like, smacks it right in the face, yeah. and the other one uh, goes between its mouth as it gnarls and looks at you. And you see this whirlpool spinning faster and faster in its mouth. Bring a Udix Connor. Us to Connor. I cough. I, I cough. <laughs> you uh, cast Crown of Men. Yeah. It has to... Make a... Oh, wait. It only works on humanoids. Oh, I'll let, wait. Well, that's just some nonsense. Humanoid. Humanoid. I'll let you try. You want me to make a whiz save? Or do you want to do something else? Well, I mean... It's, it's either that or... I would, do you, are you casting that? Yeah, you know what? Let's break for a little bit. Wisdom save. 17. Sorry. It's the rolls. Get out of here. <laughs> it's the rolls. Yeah, I actually don't even really... That's how it goes. Sorry, man. Dude, that sucks. Um, that's your action. <laughs> I thought you were um, gonna get it. You tried so hard. Brings, yeah. us, brings us to Brandon. Heck yeah, this thing hit me. I'm gonna rage my freaking butt up. I'm raging Cajun now. Raging Cajun? Raging Cajun, yeah. That Cajun pepper two sauce. Attacks, two, two attacks with I'm, rage. I'm pumped up. Grab, this thing grabbing that me. great axe. Oh, that was a nice one. Oh, oh yes. crazy. <laughs> Except for that, but that was that was cool going in between. Them. What does that even mean? Yeah, always. Johnny, you take one point of damage yeah. as what? He, he swings and misses, <laughs> and, he, <laughs> and the pommel hits you like right in the shoulder. Sorry. Yeah, he. Well, sorry. 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 Yeah. <laughs> the levels. Good run. You'll get him. Uh, Fourteen. Uh, no. Oh, oh wait. God. Fourteen. Yeah, I got fourteen. Yeah. Yeah. Son of a. So that's its turn. It now, it, now it is at its turn. It's gonna make attack. Uh, you, you both did. Damn, I'll say it attacks both of you again. One for each of you. So yeah. against Joni, that's thirteen plus six, nineteen. That hits. Against Brandon, that's yep, two hits. Oh my god! But it does have damage to me, right? Yeah, half now. So that's nine and three. So that's twelve plus four, sixteen. Can I have the damage? You can use Uncanny Dodge to have the damage. Noise. Okay. Noise. Nice. Uh, Ten. <laughs> Dang it. Oh my god. It's max damage. 20, oh 24 god. comes 12 points. 12 You're damage. You're joking. It's no, at 24 joking. and now he takes 12. I take 12 damage. Good thing you resistant. This thing hurts, guys. I got 22. Alright, and that's it. <gasps> that's I'm, I'm at that's round two, two, so that's its dead. turn. Okay. The quicker you kill it, the better. Alright. All right. Next up, Joni. Right here again. Woo! Now if you hit, you get sneak attack. <laughs> Brandon, you take uh, three points. Three, I'm so sorry. Brandon, you take three points, half to one. I'm as, so sorry. As an odd, accidental, exact same scenario where she I'm stabs, so she stabs, and then it doesn't work, and she retracts and accidentally hits you with the, the hilt of her rapier. I'm sorry. <laughs> right, right, I'm so sorry. Right in the chin, dude. But I'm pumped up, so I don't even care about it. Yeah, you look at her and like. <laughs> just take it off. I'm sorry. Ethan, you're up. Oh, you, you can disengage if, or you just want to stay there. Um. Ethan, I can't up. hide. You're so. sn double snaws. All right, roll your attacks. What? Well, there's nowhere hide, to hide so. unless you went into one of the tunnels. Not gonna happen. Thirteen and seventeen. Seven plus. You add? Did you add? Your no, number? I didn't add anything. Thirteen and seventeen were my numbers that I rolled. So, so thirteen plus six isn't. So both hit. Both hit. Roll oh damage. Why are you even adding? Your dex is in there. He's adding, no. he's adding his proficiency like, and de the strength mod, or the dex mod, right? Yeah. Wait. No, I've just been adding one of them. Let me see. Let me, uh, you've been adding six, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's what you do. Okay, yeah. Six, Each time. Six mm -hmm. year roll. So you roll add six. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. So you roll a 13 and a 16, right? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, both hit. Because that makes a 19, so that's the lowest, and that hits. Man, this is heated. Six and I'm a seven. Sorry, I hit you. Uh, is your Man, I don't a, like snakes. A D6 or D8? Can I six or D8? That's D6. Those are D8s. Like, well, the, the, can you like persuade it? To the square one. At least it's not a spider. Can I side with this fishy? <laughs> you get to tempt animals. It's two fives. Handle, I guess. Two fives. So five, plus ten three. plus three, so thirteen. Or there's plus six, because two different attacks, right? Yeah. So nineteen. Oh my Actually, is that one of my attacks as animal handling? Mm. But yeah. That'd be your action. I feel like that'd be a waste of a turn. No, just kind of pull like one of those hats out of your oh, hands. Oh, I forgot to mention like, earlier, yeah, when you guys killed the lava thing, 
a doorway across the ravine that was blocked by a red energy dissipated. Okay. It, that did the same effect. And now, if I'm going to say way down there, you see another one. Why didn't we go in any of them? You're not supposed to. You're not supposed to? Your, your goal was to unseal them for someone I mean, else. Now I want to go in there, though. I mean, maybe you could. We could kill Spring we'll see. first. All right, Ethan, so you did your damage. That's your turn. Brings us to Connor. Try that crown of madness again. I wanna, no, I wanna give him a love tap with my mouth with Vicious Mockery. <laughs> really? Okay. And wisdom save? 16. Dude, it's just the rolls, I'm sorry. Oh my god. Man, this is one wise I will, uh, snake. I will, uh, I will let you use your power to give it disadvantage again. No, that's stupid. To so usurp, like, basically you sacrifice your Wait, your can I do, power. can I do cutting words? You can inspire people. I'll let you inspire no, yourself. No, you can you can do cutting word to make them oh lower on a set. Yeah, yeah. can't you? <laughs> I know. I don't think you can, but I'll let you. So roll your d8. I don't think you can, but you can. But I'll let you. So it had a 16 flat. Roll your roll your d8. A six. So okay, it fails. So what do you say to it? I say, you're a dumb slimy idiot. Yeah. You see, like, just a confused, like, gurgle. <laughs> and then had someone say that to and me And then it winces and, like, shakes its head. Roll your d4. And its next attack has disadvantage. I got a one! <laughs> Alright. Hey. Okay. Hey. You're doing, your, you're doing your pot. Give yeah. it a disadvantage. It's good. Yeah. Brings us to Brandon. You got a one! Uh, I'm... Oh, I'm about dead. I'm a freaking... <laughs> Power hey, it has disadvantage now. I'm gonna knock the head off this dude. Okay. Hopefully. 13 plus, plus six, 6. That hits. 19. Second attack. 11, 11. plus 6, 17. That just hits. Freaking Two man. hits. Bless. Thank God. Finally get something. Alright, All right, I got the 12. 10. 10. It's all 10. 6, six plus 3. Pl or plus 5. Plus 5. So, so 11. 11. Plus five, so six, so oh, seventeen. Another six damage. I already did the first one, so what was the yeah? Second? This one was six, six because damage. I added the five. Okay, so it's so starting to, starting to look kind of rough. You see wounds now. The the blood is starting to like seep out and kind of you know very jaws like, just kind of stay in the water a bit. Ooh. All right. Mm -hmm. Now it's its turn. That's its turn. I'm dead. Now that it is. A low half, Are you shit at low me? half health, and at round three, after uh, it's can going to can use flick. its action to do a cone attack. Um, <laughs> no one just. <laughs> it's going to swim backwards so it can hit all of you, which gives you and you attacks of opportunity. So make two swings. Ooh, ooh. With my axe? Do yeah, I get make, a make magic a You make a swing. Right? And you make a swing. <laughs> Oh, holy, 20! Holy oh, fuck! Shit. <laughs> Two yes! 20s. Fuck! And then do I get it's like, roll my I got an idea, oh fuck. And then <laughs> I get... So yeah, he's like get, slimming backwards all cool. Attack. They're like, 20s, <laughs> bitches! So nine, so nine becomes plus 18. Five. Nine becomes 18 plus five is 23. What do I roll? Frick yeah. It's 23. So I roll d d8 plus four, right? You roll Oh wait, that's on camera. and then 3d6. What? 3d6. I need two more feet in. Like and he did it twice. Come on, I give you a D6. Yeah, there you go. Well, I only have... Uh, oh, fuck, 666. Six, six. <laughs> wow. So 612, 18, uh, like 21 what? becomes 42, plus 4 becomes 46. You did literally double his 23, <laughs> doing a grand total of uh, 69. Ha ha, I am! 69 damage. I redeem myself. Without a doubt. Cut Cutscene time. Cut scene, How do you cut both scene. slay oh, the Aqua man. Naga okay. of Lake Hylia? So he's gonna. He's gonna I think my one you, damage count because it was seventy. Oh, wait, we're both swinging him with like what? One like, I have a sword. Like, All right, right, what do you have? Right, you're, you're down, 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 man. Right, we should both like just double hand. We should one. like both. I'll go for one temple, you go for the other. What I do. Let's just swim say that, at that it with the great axe and just go all the way down its body with it, and then you cut it off. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That, that's good. Just... Now I'm, I'm, I'm gonna swim beside it and just pour him yeah. down. Yeah, so you guys watch as they both kind of look at each other and nod, and Sasea does a flourish in water to redeem herself, and both of them swim forward, and her dragging her rapier into the, left, the right side of its face and going down its entirety of its 40 foot long body, alongside Brandon, who is swimming and propelling the energy. 
as both of their blades are connecting in the middle, <laughs> linking and linking. slicing down. Then you turn around, give her a push as she slices downward. And you watch as its body splits and then its head into four pieces. Yes! Nice. And the, the vapors that were within it that were about to annihilate you dissipate into oh nothing. God, it is about time! And with that, you watch as its remains begin to boil. Gross. And dissipate into a pale blue dust and pixie dust and sparkles as another <laughs> flash of light piercing. Hey! Right now. Listen. Yep, exactly. <laughs> so it turns to you. Thank you. Am I chops? You I liberated us. us. I haven't gotten a fairy yet. Lead us home. And flies into you. Not really relevant since we don't have time for a final battle unless everyone's willing to stay for another 20 minutes. I am now aroused by this fairy. I'm joking. There was one more battle I had, but we couldn't end it as well. Hey, are you a... Do you look... I don't know what to say. You guys watch as the di- portal in the distance dissipates, the ward. You swim back up to the surface now. Get back to the basin. <laughs> An overcast sky kind of clears a touch. How do you guys feel? Hey, man. You guys shit. want five more minutes of game or 25 more minutes? I'm good with anything. Yeah, I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. We're good. We're good. 25? Mm-hmm. Good choice. Let's bang, let's bang it out. Do I get to, do I get to rest? I'm almost dead. You guys go back. We literally land. just made the decision that was like, you want to die in 25 minutes or, or yeah. live in five minutes? <laughs> you know, <laughs> let's die in 25 minutes. Kind, kind of, kind of. Yeah. So you, you guys. He told us at the beginning. He was like, yeah, you guys gotta go back. Right. We get to rest. You guys you take, take your rest. Ah, oh, God. Oh, oh, oh. Why? We're done with that. Arm. <laughs> <laughs> That sorry like, guys, <laughs> that like messes with the lights too. Kind of more overexposed. Yeah, sorry guys. I kind of did the second. I fell side into on the, the wall a couple times when I did that. You know that's but... fine. We're we're a Christian mature channel. Okay, good. A little fuck you. A little hanky panky won't matter. Very much. I don't I don't know. Why. Um. So with that, you guys get onto land. You set up. You set up your awesome dome. Once yeah, I'm like whoop whoop whoop. Again, nothing can enter this blue. Or, or what color is it? What color do you want it to be? Can it be, uh, can it be pale pink? It can be whatever color he wants. Oh. Sure, it can be a pale pink. Yay! It is a pale pink colored dome that just encompasses all of you as you take your, we'll say it just takes you an hour. You fully rejuvenated, everything's back. HP, rages, oh action surges, everything is back to 100%. That, that spell, that was useless. Again. And you guys now make your way to... The field? Back to the field. And you progress past the laboratory. This one, is a four two, hour video. Yeah. Only I'm, I'm probably hour. cut it in half, part one, part two. Um, it's a long upload. <laughs> I'm gonna have a lot of work tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, you know. Um, oh my god, we still have to finish that. Secret project. Ah, oh, it's a surprise! <laughs> surprise! Uh, it's a surprise! Um, I don't know anything about anyway. it. Anyway, come, come. You guys, you gotta come back. Past the lake, uh, past to, the to laboratory, field, you enter the sh- learn, Russian tree line again. You make your way back into Use the plains, to watch it. and you all convene back at the pool. I'm in it. He's you, in you it. Peer in. I mean, I'm in it. I, Shut I mean, up. I mean, he's in it. I mean, I'm in it. Oh hey, even that guy down there, he's in it. Can I, can I sacrifice him with the, or not sacrifice him, but threaten him to show up with my ex? Uh, yeah, why? <laughs> all right, let's go. Good. Yes. Right. You guys convene back at the pool, and you look in into the, you know, very pure, pale liquid. You know, you don't see anything within it. You don't see any shadow. There's no pulsating rhythm, of, you know, coming off of it. And then it quakes. Mm-hmm. Quakes again. He watches it rhythmically. Yes, similar to earlier. However, no figure is appearing. And you watch as a bubble begins to raise 10, 20 feet up. It's about a foot wide, or a foot in dimensions. It's just this clear bubble. And it begins to quake and quake. And then suddenly, pop. And with that pop, another blinding light hits you. And as you look through it, you see a beam of light hit you right into your forehead. 
you suddenly get another vision, one final vision of a temple surrounded in darkness and decay and zombified monstrosities. From earlier. Mm. Death Mountain I, I mean, in the background, the sky temple. pitch black and decroted, Death Mountain's red pulsing energy swirling, the dark castle levitating above a lava pit in the background. However, your destination is this temple, desecrated on the outside, yet somehow you know, pure and untouched from within. Sealed away from the Dark King's actions and power. That is where you must go. You must go to the castle, make your way through the courtyard to the castle, and enter the temple. Past the castle. The castle would be where the Dark King now resides, but you don't want to go there. Going to the opposite path, to the temple. So you make your way there. You are you come out of this vision, all looking at each other, deciding that this is your last destination. It will be the most harrowing. You make your way there now. As you leave the plains and head that direction towards the massive courtyard or massive uh, stone walls of the once great uh, market city and then eventual castle of Hyrule. You make your way there. And as you get to the front uh, gate, the large drawbridge that was once magnificent is laying in a pile of destroyed rubble in the moat below. There's a ten ten foot gap to the chunk, and you guys, you know, make your way across slowly but surely across this moat, um, jumping on the rubble of the bridge, finally landing onto solid stone in the wind. It's the only source of sound as the sky somehow begins to change as you get closer. Now, once you start making your way up the walkway, this long 40-foot cobblestone floor walkway, the sky darkens and darkens until it's just a dark, coal gray. You make your way to what was once the great market city. You see a well that is destroyed and crumbled in, and that's when you hear, Someone's trying to hum. You look to your left and you see a standing, stock still, zombified human. Humanoid. Tall, five feet tall. Its face almost melt, melted, but it's like a wax candle. Peach. Gross. It's wearing nothing but a loincloth. Does it smell good? Its face is dripping and pitch black. Its eye, its eye sockets are pitch black. You see uh, several it, of these just kind of it. around. Straight ahead is your destination, a stairwell that ascends towards the temple. To the left, you can see the floating kingdom of the Dark King, levitating above a mag, a massive pool of lava. But your destination is the temple. Do you book it? Book it. Okay, as you run, you watch as all of the zombies... <laughs> okay. Very slow. Okay. Have no just chance of it. catching you. These are what are called re-deads. Walking <laughs> they are known as re-deads. Man, you're such a re-dead. So, you guys sprint past them, jumping over this well easily enough as they all slowly clamber towards you. As you, you get far enough up, out there? as you get far enough up through the passage, you watch as they give up chase and just go back into their catatonic state. Some of them crumpling into themselves and going to a fetal position. Others standing stock still, looking at the ground, void of all emotion. You make your way up now and you see a small grass courtyard in the massive temple, what is known as the Temple of Time. And to the side of it you see a very small graveyard with three standing stones. And to the left is the pathway that leads up to the stairs and takes you to the entrance of the temple. No door is there, but the outside of the temple is what was once fine white marble is now a black and gray decroted mess and covered in dust and ash. You guys enter the temple. So there's no door, it's just open. There's no doorway. It's just open. It's um, open and it is black, similar to the tree trunk tunnels. It's black. Can't see through it. Can't see probably, through it. You would have to approach it to find probably, it. Probably like no perception check would help. To see through this? No. Okay. You can see into the graveyard with a perception check, but so do you? I don't know what they're doing. Do you, group of heroes, enter? Yes. I'll go for it. Right. I mean, I I sure will. 
Put my put my feet right in that doorway. Walk walk in. Who's leading the way? It's a metaphor for life or something. Um, I will. Damn sure. Snows. Brave little dick and snows. Takes a deep breath and walks in. Do you all follow suit to the black? Goes into a bright Not a loading screen. Bright white. And you see this magnificently delicate and and marvelous white marble floor. And then you see from this from the entrance, you see <coughs> again <coughs> the same pedestal that you've seen on each of your encounters. Mm-hmm. And this room is massive. It goes. Stairs. There we go. And in front of this is three gems. One. Yeah, each of you. Let's put you all horizontal. Man, that must have been what was you behind those all doors. Line up. Gems! You see three gems on a pedestal about 30 feet up Maybe. Here. We uh, don't know. One. One magnificent and green with gold inlays. One red and, and more square cut, again with gold inlays. And one blue with gold inlays. All floating uh, about three inches above where they are resting and slowly spiraling. The color of the gemstones are pale, devoid of a lot of saturated color. But what stands out to you is the stairwells that lead up to another part of the temple. A large stone wall with the same symbol with on it. A sim- symboling, uh, or a semblance of a deeper section of the temple, however, has been sealed closed with this massive stone wall. And in front of it, you see a very unknown and very unique uh, physique. It's humanoid, it has legs and arms. It's very small and decrepit. It has a cloak. Take a picture of it. Probably. No. It has a. Uh, it's small. It's about five five feet tall. It's humanoid. It looks like you know, kind of think of like an old elderly man. Um, is it the guy we talked to? It's not the sage. It's not the sage. However, it's wearing a cloak that is purple, or no, is a a dark red, <coughs> and, per- and with purple like decorate decorations, but it's tattered and worn. And he's look. He's now. He's currently facing away from you, looking at this wall, and he's very decrepit. His hands are in. His cloak kind of encompasses his entire head as the cloak kind of goes up. And as he turns around, you you now see a single purple eye Gross. glowing, and nothing else. Pitch black beyond this cloak, and you see now it's more than a cloak. It's it's more of a cowl and hood combination, all one. But there's no. Like, you know, shoulders and neck. It's all just one singular column. And then hands cradling together in a hunch. His feet just wearing, like, gray slacks that are tattered and torn and bare feet. Walks forward and just stands there. I have an idea. What do you guys do? I have a question. I'm going to talk to him first. If I cast... Crown of Madness on myself, right? Mm-hmm. Do I get two turns? Because no. then I do my action. No, because it's all on your turn. Oh yeah, that's true. Didn't think about that. You want to talk to the guy? So. He might not even be mean. Uh, he looks pretty mean. <laughs> Sinister, but he's not said anything or done anything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, if I saw that guy walk in on the other side of the street, Steaming I'd definitely cross the road to be on the other sidewalk. I have. I'd be like, I don't one know. hand you on see the gray hood. Something. Oh, something. I don't know. Um, I have one hand on the gray axe. Okay. No, I'd hug what him. should we gray do? Axe. What do you guys want to? Do? As I'm thinking. What should we ask him? How are you doing? Schnoz. <laughs> <laughs> how are you doing? Uh, how are you doing? No response. Oh, all right. Go up to him. High five. So you go, nope. All right. Yeah. Oh, I my head. The, these stairs lead up to this platform, which is about six feet up, and then oh. this pedestal is in front of it, like three feet up, and has those gems on it. So this is like a six-foot platform. Mm-hmm. So he's ascended a bit. Um. 
I think okay. let's let's walk forward. All of us. Yeah, yeah. Like, right so you all make your way hesitantly. Yeah, hesitantly you walk over the platform awaiting something to happen. With my hand on Nothing um, does. You all have your weapons kind of at your side or in your hands waiting. Do you think like those gems have anything to do with those fairies? They have something to do with the monsters. They have something to do with the monsters. There you are. Oh. It's so good to meet you, heroes of the land. You watch as it moves mm-hmm. kind of unnaturally. Yep, it's evil. Kill it. Should we... Freaky as freak. Ready action? I say that. Too. I want to help. As he sees the tension in your eyes. I don't think you I... do. No, you want to open the door. Oh my so god. Do I. You read my mind. <laughs> That's crazy. How do we proceed? Why do you want to open the door? To help the hero. Of no, course. what what's behind the door though? The hero of legend is said to be behind the door. You're being real you mean. You can't see any facial expression. It's just this pulsing eye looking hey, at each hey of you. Man, I would yeah. feel I'd feel a lot better if you took your hood off. Uh, afraid not. What can <laughs> we do to open the door? I cast uh I guess I'm just gonna kind of laughter. saw shakes his hands outwards to these gems. You're the heroes. I cast they, they, they gotta do. The they gotta do with I, the, like the, those fairies. I cast Tasha to do laughter on this. Okay, guy. then you guys go. Cause I never got one. What are you guys doing? I I want to cast Tasha to do laughter. No, on this guy. don't. No. Please. Why? Please don't. <laughs> he's obviously evil. You guys watch as he's like. Yes. Please. He's casting a spell. Either Please this guy's going to be, he's going to attack us, or whatever behind this door is well, going to attack us. M- maybe we so. should, maybe we can have a ready action just in case he does something, but other than that, we should check out those gems. Alright. Alright. What are you guys doing? So how do we check them out? So ask, I'll have, ask him what I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I'm jumping on my gem. So I'm doing it. I'm going to lay on mine. I'm just going to be like, whoop. Bam! What's I, up, guy? I have an arrow ready on the guy. <laughs> I go up to this one. I have my spell ready. Thinking. So you have your like, bow drawn on him? Yeah, I mean, I got I got my longstorm, my little buckle up. Man, I'm what's still up? holding my What are you doing? Book? I have my spell buckle ready. Buckle up, back in my set, head. boy. Brandon. I, no, I go up to that one. <laughs> you go up to this one? Yeah. Okay, you jump on the, the one. jump on it. Is it? And in, what can only be described as an invisible field repels you from falling onto it. So when you hit it, you kind of bump into something <coughs> about six inches from it, and it's still just evanescently rotating. And you kind of touch towards it, and it is it is warded in some capacity. Hmm. Yes, it's blocked, I'm afraid. Have you found a way to unseal the ward? Jesus. Yeah, this Man's guy's got evil. asthma. Asthma. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, just... Either they're evil or real old. You can't hear this. Okay. Hey man, you're probably evil. No, I got you. Well, I get it. We get it. He's evil. Right. But how do we get the gems? Guys, like, step on the stones. Dude, this is, this should we just... This sh- I feel like shooting him is going to be a bad idea. Hey, why don't I try to persuade him into a yeah. false sense of security? And then we and just... That's all, you know. all right. Mm-hmm. What do mm-hmm. you got? Hey, hear, Connor's idea. Did anybody hear anything? I didn't hear anything. Um, I saw my hand try. on my axe. So all right. Can I try to persuade him to take his hood down? Sure, we'll persuade him. <laughs> hey, yeah. man, I, I would feel real good about myself and probably think you were less evil or and and be more convinced to do whatever you want if you took your hood down. Seventeen plus twenty-seven. That can't be the whole twenty-seven. Yeah. What about there's another thing? That's just a rock. At this point. Unseal the door and I shall. He grabs the. Well, I feel like if well, we un- when we unseal the door, you're gonna do it anyway. We can't. And how do we unseal the door? Yeah. Okay, well, the heroes. Do you read? I should admit. Um, for someone, no, it's easy enough to see. Now that you guys have been investigating it enough and like contemplating each other, you now see a very thin on the inside, very thinly written engraved, uh, like hey, sentences, if like the, words. The what hut isn't. The hut isn't a range spell, is it? What? The hut isn't a range spell, is it? No, you just can't. I don't think so. Damn. Like, to put it around someone else? Yeah. <laughs> no, it's on yourself. 
I walk up. <laughs> no, uh, no, it wouldn't work. You couldn't be repelled once you cast it on it. He just couldn't enter. So, as you look on inside of it now, all of you kind of convening at the same location. Here lies the spirit stones of the lost sages. Those who have the power to um. restore them to grace may unseal the, the hero of time. And you guys, now, the three of you each feel something within. Oh no. I'm about and to collapse. A, and you get a flash through your head that to channel the power into these, you would have to. Don't tell me. Sacrifice yourself. Well, they would leave her. What? You would have to give up your soul and well, power. <laughs> you, would just, you would just have to allow it to happen, and you would cease to exist. Your entire entity would no. enter the stone. Yep, I'm doing it. I mean, you don't have to. I already did it. I know, I don't want to do it by myself. You did roll some pretty bad dice. Uh, this guy I did is, roll some pretty bad dice. up here like, what did you find out? You, you watch as he looks down, and he can't seem to see what you're Listen, seeing. Listen, guys. Choose life. Suicide is not an option. <laughs> <laughs> Suicide hat on. Come on. His demeanor is starting to lower. All right, this is He's what thinking we'll do. you can't do it. I can't kill myself? <laughs> I'm not <laughs> capable of <laughs> killing myself? He doesn't know that part. He, all he thinks is you guys can't open this door. You're talking, he hasn't, he's starting to get Hey, uh, anxious. listen, uh, big, probably evil dude. We have to kill ourselves to open this door, and uh, I'm not really feeling it. Listen, it's for the best He's very of, interested. It's for do the best it. of the land. Do it now. Okay. Deeper. He wants Arid. It. He I know. It. Dude, he's so evil. He kill you I know, but... I know, how do we get... Oh my god, I think we should take the... Hooray. I'm killing myself, so... Uh... You gotta do, do it? So Peace! We, we see, like, <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to, like, stab yourself. It's more of, like, giving yourself up. You see, you hear, you feel a pull, a tug at your very soul. Oh, I got it, man. Just, you just can't resist. So we see what happens to him. Oh my god. You're gonna, you're gonna do it right I'm now? I'm doing it right now. Oh god. god. It just flowed out of me right now. What happens to this? Okay. No. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Good to know. Good to know. So you all watch. As he's like, peace. <laughs> and he just. Peace. Y'all good. <laughs> you close your eyes and you. In, in the abyss of your eyes, with the, of the, of the abyss of closing your eyes, all you can see now. Is that green fairy looking at you, smiling, his hand outstretched, slowly curling, and suddenly, his last breath, as he collapses onto the ground, into green dust, that then goes into the pale emerald gem, and it is it emblazoned, deep green color now fills the gems. You know, silver lining, didn't really like the little guy anyway. Just saying. Get the facts out. Well, I mean, oh, I can't even talk. <laughs> what do the rest of you do? Ah, uh, yes, yes, no, so, no. It's deeper, darker. So I exactly did, did it. Oh wait, that. he said he wanted to open the door. Do not kill yourself. He wants in there. He's gonna cause some shit. Yeah. <laughs> You're not even alive. You're dead. Hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> I can, regret we that. We can't hear you. <laughs> So what is it? That damn smirk. What, what, what did it do with the green thing again? It is in blade. It's much more color. The other ones are very pale red and pale blue. His is now a bright green. Okay, what can, what can thought, we do? I thought it was those. Are no, hurry. We can use a whisper, right? What? Like we can. Yeah, but he, he doesn't seem to be anxious or happy to wait. That's okay. It's like, psst. What, what, I'm, not, I'm not gonna meta. Okay, what do I do? I don't know. <laughs> okay, what what should we do? Cause I, I feel like tagging is not gonna be a good option, but I'm still you just getting, roll again. I, I realize that. Frick. But, but listen. If, listen. We could attack him and probably make it screwed, or we what could if, do this and see how it goes. But what if we attack him and he's just some old man? Uh, he doesn't really, look like some old man. He's he, a purple like, eye. He's just sitting. He's like, man, I've been waiting for this door to open because the world's gonna be saved. And then we just, you know, we just kill him. <laughs> Yeah, but what's the point if we don't? 
Yeah, yeah and he, you know, he does I mean, our, our kind of heavy hitter is going. Yeah. I take offense. Yeah, you did. I mean, right. sorry. Um, what, what can, I ca- can I cast Crown of, uh... <laughs> crown of Medicine? On, uh, on one of my... Uh, no! Allies? No! Yeah. What's that mean? You can. What's that do? Don't do it. <laughs> Come on, man, don't you... Don't do it. Don't sc- you couldn't make them kill themselves. No, but I could make them them attack someone. Yeah. Attack some. So you're saying ourselves, no. not ourselves, but each other. No, I was gonna make you. I was gonna cast it on you and make you attack him. Okay, me. time Let's is of the essence. Let's see what would happen. It is. <laughs> okay, make me make a decision. Are we? Do, are we? Wait. Are you guys gonna have? You, I can't do anything. It, it said that <laughs> if you have to give yourself up, then if he. If he kills us, then it wouldn't matter. Okay, we. What are we doing? Are we attacking him or not? Right. Uh, give we yourselves up. Something. Give yourselves up then. Give yourselves what, up. Give wait, yourselves up. Wait. What if I just. What if I just leave here God and damn, kill myself? God damn, God damn, God damn. I wasted my turn. And you yeah, watch as the entire cloak rips asunder. The light that was once small and dim in his cloak is now beaming out in a cone. You watch as beneath it a pitch black skin creature with bat like wings. Uh, By the way, told you it. you're evil. Do it, just do Gross. it. Just do it now, just do it now. Immense in size. You see its face now has these two purple eyes that look angry and a face that is perpetually down, like down curved like a frown. And there's just hmm. purple flames sparking around it. Black onyx skin, like a very vampire demon lord. Yeah, I don't want to fight that. I just kind of die. You want to give yourself up? Yeah, I don't want to fight that guy. I was like, listen, I've had enough. Heroes die. Roll initiative, everybody. Fuck! Hey, give him them. Including Ethan. We can have Ethan back? We shall see. Hey, give him them. You're right. He took off his hood. Yeah, I (laughs) I told you he was going to do it anyway. I also told you he was evil. Well, I knew he was evil. I didn't know what to do. (laughs) I got a 19. (laughs) Yeah, I lay there. Uh, 25. I get 21. I got 20. Alright, anyone above 20? Everyone above 20. What'd you get? Didn't you get 25? What'd you get, everybody? Yeah, I got 21. 21? 20. What'd you get, Ethan? 19. Did you add the little plus 3? No. Oh my god. Oh, well then I go first if I'm above 20. You got 20. 22. <laughs> okay, hey, go alright guys. Me. Hey, you, so, you didn't put his initiative plus 3 on there. So you got 22. It's fine. He just okay. goes before me. Jody, you are up. Be fine. Fuck. No? Okay. Shoot your fate. Shoot him with the arrow. Okay. Purple energy is now sparking. Flames are sparking off his body. Probably not gonna hit the Thirteen. Thirteen? No. Thirteen. He completely parries the arrow. And you see now purple, like just energy within his mouth. We're dead. Sharp white ivory teeth. All right, everybody. Just got in one way. You move, disengage, in, or um, anything. I'm not gonna kill disengage. myself because someone wants me to kill myself. You're not gonna kill myself. I don't want to kill myself. Um, no. I didn't want to kill myself. Okay. So, Connor, you're up. I cast Tasha's hideous laughter. Wisdom <laughs> <laughs> saving throw. Nine plus six. Fifteen exact. Wait, no, not six. No, he fails. Sorry. Three. Oh. <laughs> I'm mean, fucking joking. Right? Yeah, we'll say he does. <laughs> he clutches his stomach as he falls. Huh. It's echoing. I wanna. I'm, I'm gonna run away and go kill myself somewhere else no, so we can't sorry. have my fairy. So you run away? What? Yeah. You're no, I mean like back towards the exit. 15, 20, 25. Okay. Might as well take this guy on, right? I'm not back though, right? <laughs> I'm dead. Now Brandon's turn. I'm and dead. Only six foot, You're right? Dead. Yeah, you, you could, easy enough with your strength, you could hop up there. So I could actually probably hit him from here. If this is three foot, that's only three foot. That's like up my upper torso. Yeah, you could climb up here and, and run him. towards him. Yeah, so like five, ten, fifteen. All right, and then I rage and double. Okay, rage, bonus action rage, two, two is tracks. Well, <coughs> wow. What was that? Yeah, that was a one? One and a ten, so sixteen. Dang it. Sixteen total? 16 for it, do I to hit? That hits. Oh, sweet. 16 will hit. And a 9, nine. and then plus 5. 
14. 14. 14. I guess I'll do something to it. Okay. Fair enough. Mm. So, <coughs> the first one, it rolls out of the way laughing. It seems to be more conscious than the other creatures that fell to this spell, or, but it still can't resist the laughter. Mm. So it's looking at you laughing and trying to get out of the way, and then the second one, cleave right to its stomach, breaking the hide just a couple inches into the skin. <coughs> you see now purple energy <laughs> spew out. Yeah, okay. Ethan, roll a d20. Hmm. How do I go about inspiring? He's gonna be that guy, by the way. Who is? I bet. I got a four. Feeling. Four? Nothing. It's turn. I got it. I know what I know. Oh, wait, you guys want me to come back? No. Yeah? It's on your turn. He's going, you're going to come back. That no, it's still. If you come back. Oh, wait, it has advantage. It has advantage. Oh, shit. 15, exact. It has advantage. <sighs> Boop. It raises up. <laughs> its wings. Yeah. Can't do anything. Does this teethy maw grin at you, Brandon? Man, I'm raging. I'm a bitch. It, but, but don't you save at the end of your turn, though? For toxic oh. laughter? Oh, that's, that's right. It is, it is at the end the of your turn. One. So he saves, but he can't do anything. Yeah. That's right. Huh. Thank you for reminding me. Dang it. I was hoping he got a natural one. He did, but, but uh, it doesn't matter. I'm so now it is up. back to the top. Joni, you are up. All right. I'm going to move one, two, three, four over here, and I'm going to shoot him again. Okay. No, 16 plus 7, 23. That hits, and you get sneak attack because your friend just hit him too. Okay. Oh. Uh, 1d6. Just, wait, sneak attack is what? 3d6. 3d6. Two more. So, two more. Oh, there was one. Oh. There was well, one. Well, <laughs> there was one. There was one. Give me well, one. Alright, that's where we were. Okay, so 5, 10 plus 4 is 14. 14 plus 4? Oh, I yeah. know. Do you already do that? Yeah. Okay, so how much? 14? Yes. Yeah, something. Okay. For an arrow. Ooh. So yeah, decent big of damage as it now raises up, uh, smiling at you with this big teethy maul, and then suddenly right in its peck, like left pectoral, <laughs> snaps the arrow out and looks at you now. What? That's turn. Now, Connor, you're up. Uh, You've hightailed it a bit. Wait, did you and I the spell cast... is broken. Crown of Madness on it. Yeah, I know. That's humanoids, remember? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll let you try. Uh, well, I'll let you try. It has advantage. I wanna... I'll let you try if you want. It has advantage on spell saves. Wow. Can you make the laugh again? <laughs> yeah, get the laugh again. But it has Can you use a spell on... that actually hurts it? Uh... That's, that's <laughs> Do you have yeah, anything advantage. that actually hurts any monster on this game? You guys didn't fall. He didn't do invisibility. He did shatter. I don't think he Yeah, shatter or something. You guys didn't fall. He's done My the mom is blowing He can heal you. Me. He can do a ranged heal. <laughs> Man, he's been useless. <laughs> no, it's, he's been helpful. I, I can pretty... shatter and then yeah. run away. <laughs> so, uh. Con save. Fails. This takes 3d8. 3d8. Hey, I do have 50 hit points on this But this guy's probably gonna slaughter me. So 8 and 1, so 9. <laughs> 11. 11 points of Or 10. 10. 11 points in. Or 10, you said? Yeah. Okay. I, I continue running. Dude, because I'm gonna go kill myself so I can have oh my fairy. My God. I refuse. You no longer feel that pull, that essence to just give yourself up is gone. He's not giving my fairy. Okay. Brandon, you're up. It's my fairy. I don't care if he'll save the world. I don't care if he mm-hmm. won't save the world. Swing at his, at his legs. Yeah, let's swing. He's now hulking above you. <laughs> now he's staring at Joni still. He's mm-hmm. looking back and forth. Okay, never mind. All right, let's take him. He's even looking past you to someone. To Clinton. <laughs> or as Gemin, Geminin. Or Who knows what you're um, fucking doing. He knows? Come on. You're running away so he can't have 15. Have you? Yeah, 15. Hey, 15 to hit? Yes. Hey. That just hits. <laughs> giving him is everything, right, but giving him is not a hit. Two hits, roll your two, and add five to each. Oh, come on, baby. Giving him might be a loser. He might be a dumb idiot, but giving him is five, no five bitch. Ten. Actually, he is. But. <laughs> yes, and then second one. 
six, eleven. Eleven is twenty-one. I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna make that monster laugh so hard he pops a lung. Okay. That's Brandon's turn, oh. Ethan. I'm not. I'm actually going outside 20. to kill myself because he's not getting my fairy. I hope that works. Fourteen. And with, and with that, <laughs> Ooh. you guys watch. God. God dang it! I knew that was gonna happen. The green energy begins to pulse. You guys watch. He's gonna be as good. a pale green, translucent thrall of Schnoz re-enters the battlefield. He's, he's evil. He is see-through. He looks to you. And he gives you a thumbs up. Oh, okay. <laughs> you look back at this enemy. You're not hurting my friends. Oh. You are back momentarily. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. It is your turn, Snoz. Snoz is back, bitchy. <laughs> As he says, running toward this motherfucker. <laughs> oh man, should I shoot my Snoz at him? Okay. <laughs> hey, I you can. You could do action surge and do fucking four Snozes. <gasps> oh my I'm god, at, that's I'm what I'm doing. Look at this invisible Snoz and say. Please finally impress me. At an 18 Come and a twice. 4. 18. Dude, he just came back from 18, like 18 hits. Gym World, man. Wait, 18. That'd be impressive. <laughs> 18 and then what am I going to play? That's still not yeah, going to Yeah, he came back from. And then your two other attacks. And then my two other attacks. 18 and whatever surge. didn't hit. 18 hit. Oh, okay. I was like. So you got one hit out of two, and now. Mm, 16 and 18. Both of those hit. So you got three hits on your schnoz. Oh, wait, no, I wasn't doing schnoz. I was doing the. Uh, my. Are you gonna rub it up, run up and swing at him four times? Yeah. Okay. So. You run up to him. Make you do your D8 damage. Three. It would be three D8 total. Eight and a one. So what do I add to that? It's That's just plus three to each one. So you've plus got three, nine plus 11. six. Right. So the, the, so eight and one. Yeah. So nine and then six would be fifteen points of damage. And then one more hit. Eight. On both of them, actually. Here, take that back. Uh, eight yeah, plus eight on three, so eleven. Whoa. Okay. Schnoz is back, bitches! <laughs> and you can just are annihilating at his, like, kneecap region and thighs as you're slashing up and jumping at his stomach and slashing open his... His like ex- kind of like very obvious rib cage, and each slash is <laughs> blue fire is just erupting from each gash. All right, Ethan. Now it is his turn. <laughs> Peasant. And over your heads, oh fireball God. erupts. Con- Connor, <laughs> I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh God, <laughs> I got to do it. Connor, you said you were going to do a suicide anyway. <laughs> What'd you get, bud? I got a 10. That's not gonna be enough. Total? <laughs> yeah. Nope. So that's 8d6. Oh god. Oh, oh my god. 6. <laughs> uh, you didn't do anything. Cast building anyway. No, I'm joking. Uh, 16. Uh, 16 plus 6 is a 22. 22. Don't come back to that. 6, 2 more. 23. And 28. 28 points of damage. Holy crap. Connor, to you. you die? No. As this purple fireball, just a purple streak of energy and erupts over him. He's just like completely, like almost completely knocked prone from the, the concussive force of the blast. <sighs> then he looks to each of you. And he flies. Schnoz and Brandon, you get attacks of opportunity, so swing at him. Man, yeah, now I have to go back. <laughs> nice attack, you dude. Schnoz, go ahead and make a swing at him. I'm still raped, right? But Whoa! Schnoz is back! Schnoz roll an attack. You got a, you got a eight Dummy. plus six. Good job, Snod. <laughs> so you guys really, watch. really showing him. Yeah, As he flies head. forty feet into the air now. All right. He is forty feet into the air for your uh, acknowledgement. So he is now for that. Joni, you are up. Arrow. Come on. Release your yeah, arched arrow. Oh, seven, 24. I'm about twenty-four. That definitely hits. Thank God. Awesome. So oh D six plus four. Ah. He got a wing or something. Come on. <laughs> uh, six. Six points of damage. Come Best on. I can do. Right, they start to look kind of. Sweet. Oh my god. Do you guys have? Not super bad, but not great. One. Okay. <sighs> so he kind of like looks at the hip. I do. Snaps off the arrow again and tosses it aside. Thank God you. He's looking. Yeah, still, thank he's, God. He's still looking thank towards Connor's direction. This is kind of. 
assessing the battlefield below. Ugh. Um, I feel bad. Now it's Connor's turn. Connor, I run back. <laughs> run back? I'll yeah. Here, I think. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. He's now 40 feet up here. Can I ca- cast Tasha's hideous laughter? <laughs> <laughs> and hopefully make him fall out of the sky. He has a range of 30 feet. God damn it. Can you dash any? He could, well, you could dash But then I can't. Oh. This crown of madness has a bigger range. Yeah, but we, did we say humanoid? Oh, but he's not. A... Since that one doesn't normally work, he would have an advantage on it. Because it's a charm. He's a big advantage against charm. But can I do the like the disadvantage thing? You could neutralize it with that and make yeah. a straight roll. Alright, let's just do that. Do that? Alright. Wisdom save. Oh, yeah. Natural 20. God Does damn Does anybody it. have low nice. health? Damn. No, I have 50 I mean, points. I... He does now. Oh, I can heal people. I can heal you. That was your action, I'm afraid. You can heal? Mm-hmm. Man, that would have that been sick if it worked. I have the yeah, second wind. Totally so. work, but you can roll a 20. So being 6'4". Well... Because you neutralized it. With so. the great axe. Can you, I can't get I, that. that you one. can't jump 40 feet. I can't do anything. Yeah, like even with a disadvantage, he just rolled a 16. Sorry. Trying to help you out. That's Connor's turn. Brandon, you're up. Or, yeah, Brandon, you're up. You have a javelin left, Please I believe. I have God. one javelin left. Oh, no, your fins. My fins. Uh, you're, oh, that was right. You, I didn't tell you your bonus power for for saving the, or getting the blue fairy. Your fins are now like boomerangs. You make a 60 foot ranged attack. And then they come back magically. What the fuck? Forgot, I totally forgot about about giving you that. And do they do the same? Do they do the same thing? Yeah, I forgot. Do they do the same? They do the D6 damage, yeah, and you just. Okay. I do two of them suckers. Two of them. Awesome. (laughs) All right. Take out them one. So you guys watch as his, you know, like one foot, (laughs) one foot long forearm uh, fins just triple in length, and then swings them out. All right. So I got an 18. 18 hits, for sure. Alright, and then put uh, And then your second one. Up. 9, Nine plus, plus 6, six that's 15, 15. Just hits. Sweet. And so then D6 plus, six. plus 5 for each one. Ten. So 10 Ten. points of damage. Come on, let's go. And 7. seven. Alright. They're none. Yeah. Better than what that triton would have done. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> and you, so you guys watch as now. <laughs> Bad eggs. Oh, the third one. Into it. This, uh... uh... Ethan, you're up. Snorkel. Well, I'm thinking five more minutes, guys. My yeah. House, my house first, yeah, totally. Ethan, you are up, my friend. Yep. This I'm is doing it this spectral round. Spectral ghostly form now. 17 and a... and a... 19. Really? No, it was a 1. Okay, I thought I saw you move it. <laughs> yeah, I, I did. It okay. was, there, I had a 17 on one of them. I was like, hmm... Did I let him crit because he lied? I don't think so. So, but the 17 definitely hits. Go ahead and roll your yeah. d8 plus, uh, plus 3. 6 plus 3, 9. 9 damage? Yep. Lame. Really only Nine damage. Damage. Come on. Very good. Ethan, that is your turn. Wait, has he fallen yet? It's turn. He's is, gonna he focus on. is he what? <laughs> is he falling yet? Is he falling yet? Now, he yeah. looks to. I'll only do this once. I don't want to fuck it up. Don't fuck us. Powerful. It's, it's gonna hurt. Don't fuck us. Ah, I'm gonna say you're just out of range. Fuck, yes. As you guys watch, as he goes from his hand to putting his two fingers together, and you see the purple energy go into sparks. And he shoots it down at you, and it hits you and bounces into Ethan. Both of you make dexterity saving throws. Wait, but All Ethan's right. like That's dead 20. already. Yeah, Ethan's like... Kinda. He still has his hit point. Six okay. plus three, nine. Nine, that's gonna be a fail. Ethan, roll a d20 and add your dex mod. See you guys. Oh, you have advantage. Oh, Barbarian. 19, and then my dex, so... 19, <coughs> 20, 20, 22. Six plus Three. Oh I got a God. twenty-two. Nine. Same, thing. Same, same thing. Same thing. Same thing as I just. Same thing. I got a twenty-two. Wait, can right. I can inspire him? Can I? You can cut any words it. Um, I can, and I got a you can inspire 22. him and add add a d8 to his roll. So roll a d8. How do you inspire him? I'm like inspire. You, him. you you got it. You're impressive. <laughs> as he just kind of meagerly claps this, as he, you see he's bleeding from the mouth a bit, burn singe all over his back. His Please. saxophone is kind of charred. 
Please like, sing the sing. Go patient. <laughs> yes. Go patient. Oh, sing, sing, All right. Go patient. What is it? D8. It's D8. Roll one? that. Add. What did you have first? What was the total? Nine. You got to roll uh, a five to beat a 15. <sighs> Come on. Pump me up, man. Y y feet. You go. Aggressive. Feet. 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 Or aggressive. You have a six. You have to get a six <laughs> to make feet. a 15. Feet. Aggressive. Feet. Oh, that's, that's a D10. That's a D10, not a D8. Thank God. Oh. Uh, Wrong one. This is this is your D8. Please, oh my God. Uh, six gives you a 15 exactly. Oh. You take half the damage oh, yeah. of 10 D8. You're aggressive. 38 damage to you, Ethan. 10? Whoa. <laughs> huh. Wait, but didn't he get like a? Yeah, oh, he wait, got like saved. a 19 you saved two, or didn't you? Huh. Okay, so that's halved. 38 halved is like. Oh, the fuck is 38 halved? 40 19. or 30, so 19. Do we round down? Yes, 19. No, it's exactly 19, so yeah. So I, I, it's 19 to me. Okay, 18.5? No, it's even. So yeah, 19. 19 damage to each of you. You save, so it's halved again. So I got. You, so you take uh, 10, 10 damage. Okay. Or no, 9. Sorry, 9. Take 9 damage. Ethan, you take the 18 or 19. I still got 41 hit points. And then that's its turn. Johnny, you're up. Bow and arrow. It's 40 feet in the air. Shoot that bitch. Shoot that bitch. <laughs> okay. All right, guys. It's, it's getting intense. Oh. Ethan, how much health you got? 30. S still? Yeah. yeah I, I had 49. No minus 19 is oh, 30. Yeah, I hope there's nothing uh, else around that 16. door. Yeah, it just comes out. And we're like, well, hit. that hits. D6. That's how, that's how ah. it ends. Yeah. yeah. The monster comes out and we die. Yeah, yeah I just kill myself. Eight. Eight points of damage. The best I can do. All right. So... Connor, you're up. I run up. You close. save Brandon from taking a brunt of that, and uh, he, gives, you, he gives you a solemn nod as I, he turns back. I run closer. Five, ten, and, um, 15, 20, 25. I cast healing ward on Brandon. What? How do you? What do you say to him as he heals? I'm like, uh, let me caress you. <laughs> What's that one song about healing? It goes. In the arms of the angel. Lift me up. Oh, wait, that's the fuck. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna right. heal you. Oh, yeah. So with it's, my it's... mouth. But not like <laughs> with my mouth. You kind of like tilt your head as to what he means, and then you suddenly feel a few of your wounds heal. Roll D4 plus 3. <laughs> right, is your charisma. What's your charisma score? Um, or mod. What's that? Bottom. Alright, it's 10 30. Four. My mom's throwing me fit Oz. Okay. You gotta go. Nutty, no, I work finishing this. I'm gonna uh, kill this uh, bitch. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so you, you heal him a D4 plus. I'm so mad, bro. I don't roll for it. <laughs> Brandon, you heal six points of health. It is now your turn. Man, I wanna do some more finnies. Finn boomerangs. I got crit. Company. And. and nothing. Okay, so I roll that crit. I rolled uh, the. <laughs> I don't know. Um, we, I'm we, so started upset. Doing, we started doing huh. that like two. I never knew Plus, how to do it. Uh, I, I started doing it a long time so ago. So seven. Dang it. <laughs> wow. It's, and it's I just real, shake my head. It's real low, everybody. God, I'm so upset. <laughs> you see his wings is now very labored to keep himself alive. Good. Fuck him up. Ethan, it's your turn. You look up now. <laughs> you grab your nephew, your schnoz. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, two snaz attacks. It's like uh, in the scary movie how with the yeah, missile shovel bat. Yeah, cocks. Yeah, he just cocks his nose. Was, yeah. Oh my god, I tried two 19s. Are you fucking serious? Oh <laughs> Not <god>. even joking. <laughs> oh my god. Fuck, <laughs> him <up. laughs> Fuck him up. So 2d6. Right. 2d6. Oh, the third. The square, the flat ones. Six and a three. So nine becomes 18 plus three is 21. Please impress me. And once again, Woo! Oh. <laughs> God, you're just a but monster. You can destroy his entire schnoz. How do you? <laughs> With my schnoz, bitch. <laughs> you guys watch as he just machine gun Kelly's as well. <laughs> as he goes through all of his action surge, all of his energy and rage and spiritual connection to this world. You watch as. <laughs> And he's trying, you see the entity beginning to try and flee, and then it's just <laughs> berated, it's purple flames spattering off of its body oh, over and over shit. again. It crashes. 
<laughs> and burns into a bright purple flame until nothing is left but a small one foot by one foot spiritual essence with a the same facial expression of just angry eyes and a frowning face. And you guys watch as from the shadows another God, entity no. looking exactly the same but in different colors. This one wore just a simple purple tattered cloak and beady red eye opens a jar. You watch as the floating spirit He stoppers it, throws it in his cloak, pulls out his simple walking stick. Carry on. Mm. And he just leaves? And leaves. <laughs> leaves? Yep. No. That's it. Alright. <laughs> Do we continue? No, we No. As you turn around now, you watch Ethan float over the crystal and land and look to you guys. As you all convene now, you hop off the pedestal and he gives you a nod. And once again, he closes his eyes and you watch him. Okay, so <laughs> fly into the stone. Damn straight. <laughs> Peace out. Shinar's out, boys. So now that we've eliminated that threat, uh -huh. I feel comfortable killing myself on my own turn. Come join the squad. Yeah, why not? You hear just kind of echo. As it fades, come join the squad. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, get some water. And so, yeah, he thought just like, <laughs> snaws. Snaws, ruler snaws. You know, <laughs> you know uh, what do the rest of you do? You know, uh, Harry know. Gecko. You, <laughs> you know, you Harry watch, Gecko. He you watches your newfound allies, friends even, are now given this task. You know, Harry this Gecko, I think it would be pretty cool to be. Whatever, whatever that guy is now. Yeah. I know what you're about to say. What? what? <laughs> I'm a spirit and he shit, dude. He's dead. He still <laughs> fucked everybody up. Yeah. I want to be that guy. Dude, that character's badass. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> Fucking love snows, man. <laughs> <laughs> Rippling muscles, little daycare motherfucker. He's like a rap star, rap god. Like dude. He's just straight up G. <laughs> Jim and him on steroids. Like, all right. So you guys are quiet. Somber. Well, I mean, I'm dead, so I'm pretty quiet. Yeah, he is no more. What did the rest of you out. What are you guys gonna do? I mean, I guess you guys should just keep going on to your own land. You saved those, it, so it doesn't matter. I just. Tug. I mean, you guys, you, you guys. Yourself. Well, well yeah, before you fired. kill yourself, I mean, you guys saved your homeland. You go always go back to your homeland. There's nothing no, for them. It's there. not quite been saved yet. You know what? I love because you know what. Well, I mean, now just. This one less evil looking kind of guy, right? So I just, you know, let myself go. Because she can't do it, and so she'll be fine now. Because then <laughs> she'll be like, <laughs> evil guy's not there. She's anymore. not gonna be fine. I'm gonna be fine. She'll by be myself, fine. Yeah, she'll be fine. But... Alright, I give you the great X before I leave. You hand oh, I wow. hand her really? that great X. This is an heirloom of his. Mm hmm. Oh, oh. You now see in more detail the silver and, and brown kind of inlays and the spiraled sea serpent pattern and the fins and the trident motif at the top. The double bearded headed axe. This is muscles. This is whiskers. He just kind of tugs, knowing what he has to do. Mm -hmm. He turns towards the, the blue stone. <laughs> do you relinquish yourself? Yes. He watches Jekko, closes his eyes. Takes a deep breath from his fin or his gills, and falls crumpling to the ground. And as he falls, he watches he dissipates to blue glitter, blue dust, blue sparkles, and then suddenly <laughs> flies into the gym. And you watch as it emblazons with pure, pure bright blue energy. And now the gyms inlaid are bright, as are the green ones. The red pale ones remain ever spiraling. Do you do? Well, now I'm just kind of feeling that pure pressure, so you know. <laughs> well, we're, we're not here anymore. Hmm. They just eat you. you Want to go get something to drink? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> After all that way. I mean, what else? Like, After all that way. You, you want to go get a beer? <laughs> 
Oh, it has nothing else to do. Play me a sad tune. Oh, on your side. Here's a secret. I'm not really good with the saxophone. Here's a secret. I don't know how to play the sax. Joke's on you guys. You got this. Maybe wanting to give one last. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll play my sad little tune. Yeah, as he plays as he sad plays, little tune, just he, he plays careless whisper, but in a minor key. Yeah. Right, right. Right. I just want to walk in melodic and sad. I want to ascend into my gym as I'm playing. And as he is playing, you go. watch as he closes his eyes, and rather than crumple, he just lets himself <laughs> trust fall backwards towards the gym, and you hear as the music fades and echoes and becomes more evanescent as he turns into red dust and quickly. Spirals into the gym. Another third light illuminates as Careless Whisper just slowly vanishes into the sky, into the into the air as the sound dissipates. You watch as all three now start pulsing, pulsing brighter and brighter. You're looking about as to what you should do next. You back up instinctually, waiting for something to happen, and suddenly they all three strike you into the chest. Your eyesight goes blurry and pitch white as the room is emblazoned with all these colors. As you come to and look down, you watch as the colors of your clothing turn from grays and blacks to azure blues and whites, and an emblem on your chest in red. Your hair begins to fade from its disguised color, and you pull your white cowl up now, and look towards the door as you watch. A bright white light is seen within as you walk care carefully towards it. You see the light begin to fade and the silhouette of a figure is visible. As the light dies down, you see a humanoid figure, one of a young man. His back is to you and as the light now fades, you begin to see his features. Leather boots, silver pants, thick leather bracers, green tunic, pointed hat covered with his blonde locks. On his back is a very ornate blue sheath with gold it's like Rogue One. And in his left hand, he is currently All examining the heroes die a magnificent longsword. As you look at him, he does not see your presence. I don't wanna, like, the major as you silently approach, is at the end. you say, I've been waiting for you, hero of time. And that's where we're gonna end the adventure. And that's Curtis! What? They're gonna smash! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Wait, so that means he's a... <laughs> she was Sheik. Yeah. Who is also Princess Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> Which she should she did not know. What? She just found out when what? you guys did. That's nuts. Plot yeah. twist! <laughs> that's a plot twist. So, that's... Alright, now, now, now let's go. Now let's go. Meets D &D. What'd you guys think? Oh, now let's oh go. My God. Now let's go play the actual game. Yeah. It'll be like... Yeah, it'll be like we're buy continuing your copy it. of uh, yeah. Zelda Ocarina of Time out now in Nintendo 64 version. <laughs> it's hot off the shelf, I think. <laughs> Alright, guys. Get out with GameCube. That was dope. That was dope. Did you guys have fun? Super gnarly, yeah. dude. We gotta awesome. do something. That was fun. awesome. Yeah. That was, that was, good that that was so much fun. That was awesome. So, yeah, that's the adventure. Hopefully, everyone had a good time. Hopefully, the audience enjoyed it. Um, I think, yeah, I think that's gonna wrap things up, the guys. One person. Zelda. Like I said, check the, the description for a bunch of stuff I'll put in there later when we upload this massive file and uh, subscribe <laughs> for more. If you liked it, I don't know. Like and subscribe. Let us know. Put it in the comments side. I don't know. We're new to this. Are you gonna put up things like right here? It's gonna be like yeah. There's gonna be boxes right now. It says subscribe, and then right here. Raggedy Red. <laughs> Click it, watch it. Don't. He, he wants yeah. you to watch it. I don't because want you to watch, watch it, it because watch it. it's a bad movie. <laughs> no, Raggedy it's Red. not. Right it's here. a bad or right here. It's not. You don't have to. <laughs>